Okay. We're here. We're live. Hello! Welcome. Welcome to this Vegas stream and stuff. We got Dark Heavy 8 and Phil Barnes here. How you guys doing? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Doing, good. doing good. Yeah. It's Excellent. fine. It's summertime. It's good times. Summertime is the best time. I do love the summer when it gets hot and sticky. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, hot and sticky always in space if you just go close enough to a star. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it's been a lot, uh, a lot of crazy shit happening in the last couple of weeks. And, uh, yeah, apologies for not being able to stream last week. But uh, I was going to visit some old uh, old friends up north in the, uh, in the country or whatever, right? And if you're wondering why I'm speaking weird, it's, <laughs> it's a little bit um, difficult to speak because it's weird. Last weekend, I go to my friend's house. And it was like five of us getting together that had hang out, hung out in high school. We hadn't seen each other in a decade. We go to my friend's house. He like lives in the woods. And we have a bunch of drinks. And then the next day I wake up, my face is getting numb. And it turns out I get the uh, the Bell's palsy. So half my face is actually like numb, like paralyzed. So yeah, it's good. <laughs> so I'm actually like wearing an eye patch and, and speaking out of one side of my mouth. Uh, so I'm not going to stream for too, too, too long today because it's actually difficult to talk. But... Apparently this is a random thing that just happens to people and clears itself up in a matter of weeks or months or whatever they said. So yeah, that, that that's fun. Um, but it's not been so bad. It's been, uh, uh, at least it's like, uh, they're like, yeah, it's harmless. Like, you're just gonna drool a lot, which is normal. You guys even heard of this thing before? I have not. Not me either, but... Uh, do drooling a lot? Yeah, that's regular for me. Legit, legit. I, I love to drool. I mean, it's a sign of a good a good thing. But yeah, it, it, I hope it gets better soon. And, and no, it's, it's not smoky here in Toronto, but like, obviously, like, the whole East Coast is burning and turning the sky cool like Blade Runner hues. And I'm actually like, like, kind of jealous that New York got such a cool, pretty sky. Although, you know, the danger, the dingus, the dingus is real. Um, by the way, how's the mix uh, in terms of the music? Is the audio uh, audio balanced? Can you can you can y'all hear? Because I, I I I can't hear. Yeah, sounds pretty good. All right, excellent. At least in Discord, anyway. Yeah. So I was, I was the last last couple of weeks too. The the sad news about uh, Commander Plater was uh, on my mind a lot the last weekend too. Um, he passed away last Thursday. It was a pretty pretty upsetting time, and then I just found out uh, today that Michael Brooks, who was one of the original guys working on Elite back in the day, like launching Elite, doing all the lore and stuff like that, he apparently passed away as well. So very um, sad week for Elite. It's been kind of kind of crazy, emotionally taxing. Um, but uh, anyway, figure since I am half a face and half an eye and we're actually wearing an eye patch right now which affects my depth perception what we'll probably do is do some pirating right so i found this cool little the narrator sounds weird though i know man it's gonna be it's gonna be like a little bit of a lisp <laughs> right and i have trouble with the p's so like i have to avoid the p words like pirate <laughs> but uh yeah it's um yeah you know what you, you guys are here to help me do the talking <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. I'm not great at it, but yeah. Well, neither am I. <laughs> but we're here. We're here now. What is this? Did you bush? Did you bushes? Did you bushes? It's okay. So I can talk no more normal if I actually like hold the side of my mouth um, and like stretch it out, which is kind of weird. But then I can't like steer the ship. So it's like it's gonna be a balance between like lispy spatula and then just like and like derpy spatula that can't move. Um, but yeah, the, apparently it's Digibush system. So what I was finding, I was doing some research for piracy. And I found that apparently if it's a boom state and it's an industrial system and there's no rings in the system, the odds of finding LTDs go up severely, severely high. So you, 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 I, I think you posted a screenshot, Phil. You already scouted out and found LTDs? Uh, I did, yes. A type 6. Excellent. His name was Average Joe Schmo. Average Joe Schmo. That was the NPC name. Yes. I love it. How did I fall out of the team? Did I accidentally leave? Um, yeah, no, I went and saw a doctor. Problem with my keys. <laughs> well, we, I'll be just taking bio breaks in my pants today. It's not part of Bell's palsy, but you know, it's like I figure, what the hell? If you're in, if you're in for the uh, in for the money, in for the mile, right? 
just start peeing myself. <laughs> oh man. Hey Sea Dweller, how you doing? Thanks man. You have a good night as well. But yeah, I gotta head to Super Cruise and I figure, well, I haven't done piracy in a really long time. I think like the last time I tried it was really when I went to Hell Port. Which was which was fun, but um I wanna I wanna see like if, if it's actually like can we actually make money off of it? Oh look, an adder. Should we pirate the poor little adder? Now, for, for my uh, piracy build, I went and got a clipper. Ooh, Steven Nightwing. How do you like the clipper? I like it. I like it a lot. I know, drilling breaks, right? Um, the clipper is, like, a nice medium ship that, like, I think, like, works really well for things like piracy or, like, very specific tasks. Like, I don't think it's, like, a good all-rounder. You really have to, like, know what you want to do with it. But I thought... Ooh, a chieftain. Um, but I find, like, it's a good it's a good combination of speed. Um, I wish it had, like, one more hard point or one more utility slot. But I'm, I'm overall happy. Ooh, type 7, type 7. I think we have our first target. So, okay, so here's the plan for piracy, right? Is, and this is, like, I looked up, like, like, some NPC kind of guides, right? You interdict them, right? Then you scan them. Then you shoot out their shields, and then you shoot out their, uh, what you call it, um, their drives. And then you have to kind of like, they're going to be drifting in space. You have to kind of like, apparently get in front of them, and like stop them, and then you can pirate them. Otherwise, uh, they just start drifting through space forever. So we're going to try this method, but we'll see. We'll see if it works. Uh, okay. Step one. Manifest scan. This guy has a wingmate. We may need to, like, hurt the wingmate. Or, oh, it's just an eagle. We could probably just, like, ignore it. Trinkets of Hidden Fortune, 138. Okay. Okay. So let's try this. We're going to target his drives. Are you guys uh, able to drop one of my wing source? Yeah, because I'm almost there. All right. I was just stopping by KFC. Uh, I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Bring me some fried chicken! Alright, so I gotta take down his shields first. This is assault. There is gonna be low system security, but that's fine. From my understanding, uh, it... They should have no... They should be no problem. Although... How am I at 65% shields? How is this eagle... Destroying me? Oh god, I the chafees are because, so because you're crap? Uh, well apparently. Okay, shields are almost down. Now we send the seeker missiles after the drives. Your harm, you matey! Now the guide said that only four missiles were needed, but um so far. I think the problem is I have to be behind him, right? It's better when the targets choose not to fight back, to be honest. Oh, there we go. Drives are out. Drives are out. All right. And now we commence with the hatch breaking. This isn't so hard. Until the cops get here. Well, yes, but... That's, that, that's fine. We can deal with the cops. Okay, who... How do, how do my shields keep going down, though? Give me them trinkets. Trinkets! Trinkets! Oh, look at all the trinkets. Okay, this guy's going really, really fast. So yeah, you wait for their shields to regenerate. No, no, no! Don't push them that way! Need to do more collectors. So what we have to do is like get on the other side of him. He's apparently going to keep fighting, and then we want to like slow down his uh, his drifting. I'm going to do another hatchbreaker. I think Wait. he's still got engines, right? What? He's still got... That's it. How did his drives come back? He's at zero percent. Well, I'm hatch breaking him now. I'm gonna 
to take down his shields again. He didn't learn his lesson. Oh wait, he's got two drives, doesn't he? Oh yeah, okay. Hey, but they're both at zero percent. Is piracy broken? Not until we break it. <laughs> it is weird though, like when their drives are down, they're supposed to not be able to do anything. Alright, it looks okay. We're matching speed with the target. Alright, now bring on bring on those Why do my collectors keep expiring? What's wrong with them? Uh, if he has a point point defense they will nuke your collectors. Oh and really? really? Even the uh, hashbreak Olympics. But you can overwhelm them with hashbreakers if you spam them. Where'd he go? This guy is very wily. Now apparently the type nines he's getting away again. Oh my god. Okay, he actually got away. But there's tons of trinkets, tons of trinkets. And mechanical equipment, apparently. I, you, oh, you did a repair. I didn't know that NPCs could even repair. I probably should have got, like, more uh, Collector Olympus, to be honest. Let's see. How many trinkets have we already collected? None. We collected one scrap. Thank you, Limpets. Good job, Limpets. You got four? I got four of them. There's still more in space here. So. Where are oh, you're, you're, you're lucky. I got an occupied escape pod. You got an occupied escape pod, eh? You got the yeah, pilot. I'm, I'm thinking about um, ransoming it to the Thargoids and just going, how much do you want for this bad boy? <laughs> But yeah, you can uh, uh, attach uh, hashbreakers without breaking their shields, uh, so that's that's fine. Um, t taking out point defenses is tricky and sometimes not possible, really. Um, doing the drives thing is not really necessary unless. I feel like if you, if you go for the um, uh, the point defense, you're probably going to kill your guy. Oh, system Yeah, authority, you need to so. have uh, special missiles or cannons to just target the point defense, but it's tricky. Yeah, sometimes not possible. Oh yeah, Popo has arrived. Time to flee. Uh, about time, right? Oh, hold on, there might be uh They might not... They might be occupied. There's still more trinkets to be collected. Four of them. They're not really worth that much, to be honest. What we are looking for is ideally LTDs, low temperature diamonds. Or apparently platinum is also a very good piracy uh, material. Oh, you better bug out, Dexter. They're, they're getting you. Is it time to bug? Hold on, there's one more trinket. There's always one more trinket. There's no <laughs> end to run. I'm getting collect. greedy. I'm getting greedy. Olympus are just doing their thing. Bring me the goodies. Bring me the booty. And how you doing, Crawl, by the way? Alright, let's get this last trinket. It looks like someone's getting shot with missiles. I think that's Phil. Wait, Phil, did you take that triplet? <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just saw that trinket just like like zip after you. Yeah, I got it. I got six. It's kind of fun to watch other people collect things. Wow, I just keep getting sucked back into your guy's uh, instance. Right. I've boosted, I've boosted out like three times, and each time it's like, nah, yeah, you're coming, you're you, coming back in. You have the wingman now lock on. I have no idea. That's probably why. <laughs> yeah, you're the wingman now lock. I was just doing the Monty Python thing, which was run away, run away, run away, run away. There's it's another okay to leave them to die. Now what you want to do is you can check these uh, targets, and if they have mining equipment, they're more likely... So this guy, yeah, he has... 
chafe again. No mining equipment, so he probably doesn't have LTDs. So ideally, what we're looking for is like a Type 9 with mining equipment. That apparently is the mother load. Uh, Norca. I wonder what, what... What do cruise ships... Do cruise ships even have cargo? Mm, probably. But nothing cool. Uh-oh. Someone's interdicting me. Oh yeah, that's the fun part, is once you start pirating... You want to play her now? Oh, that's awesome to hear, Crawl. What up, SG4H? Like, once you start pirating, the pirates actually start pirating you, because now you have the booty. The irony. It's just I like, there's, type th nine. there's no honor among these. You see a Type 9? Ooh. Yeah. But I get dropped because of Nevla. Oh, I'm getting interdicted. But Lance, Anaconda, System Authority, two of two. Well, the heat is on me. Run, boys, run. Yes, or... now, th there is a... Use um... this. Use this as a distraction while you do your... Arr, 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 arr. No mining equipment. Wedding barge. Should we interdict a wedding and just steal the bride? Is that piratey? Only if she's written her vows, otherwise she's <laughs> not worth it. Yeah. This one hasn't written her vows. I wanna take this Type 9 just because it's a Type 9. That would be cool though, if you could steal the passengers and then just like... Like, take them uh, where you wanna take them. Or even just complete option to complete their trip. Like, where were you going? <laughs> I'll take you there. It's Pirate Cruises. It's an Imperial Cooter. Oh, no. Is that, am I being interdicted by the same guy? Oh my god, it is too. He's not going to go away, is he? Some of these NPCs, honestly, they just don't get the hint. Well, I've just been interdicted for about the last 30 seconds on full... <laughs> blue on my side and it's just not given up it's just broken what like you're in a braven tunnel no uh, not so much in a braven tunnel just a uh, escape interdiction mini game that will never end even though i've won it a hundred percent for the last minute now <laughs> so yeah i'll probably just submit and you've reached full uh, full zen interdiction yeah there we go I'm going to interdict this Wonder Barge. I want to see what loot they carry. Stealer cake. <laughs> yes, I want wedding cake. That would be actually a great commodity to have on a wedding barge for pirates. Now, there is a, a couple systems nearby. There's like an anarchy system we can go to where we don't have to worry about things. A lot of the wedding barges being interdicted, and they're still like, the ceremonies will begin soon. Oh, yes, they will, my friend. Alright, let's see what cargo you carry, my friend. I love how they're also not, like, immediately hostile. Like, they're just like, oh, this guy must have... Who's shooting him? Someone else is shooting the money large. Marine equipment and water purifiers. Wait a minute. Oh, no, it's... Oh, you know what? Okay, this other guy needs to go. It's combat time. I'm sick and tired of this guy interdicting me, interfering with my wedding barge extraction. Avast ye! It is pirate on pirate. Mano y mano. Now, I've only got these two little pulse lasers. Uh, and then seeker missiles. But the seeker missiles, I, I, I really don't use missiles that much, and I love them. Don't know why I don't use them. I think it's because, like, back in the day, they were, like, utterly useless. Oh, does this guy have point defense? Like, back when Elite started, like, missiles were, like, the most pointless thing. Missiles away? Okay, come on. Reload the cannons! But missiles just absolutely wreck modules. 
they are amazing for that. And my shields are down. I got a DBX here with LTDs. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh my god, this guy just like wrecked my hull. How are your shells back online? Stupid byways. I wonder, wait, 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 does he have any loot? No, he doesn't. Or wait, hold on, I haven't manifest scanned him. No matter, this is... I will consign your remains to the void. Look at that! I'm, there's the wedding barge flying right through. Wait, come back! I'm not done pirating you. I'm gonna just tickle his hull a little bit with my lasers. So wait, you can or can't hatch break with shields on? Because oh yeah, okay, I got the, the hatch break. You can, yeah. You're not getting out of here without giving me a little booty. What do we got? We got water purifiers, marine equipment. This was obviously an aquatic wedding. I'm gonna try to take out his drives. Oh, reloading. Come on, missiles. Reload faster. Dropping in. Okay, I would like the if you could like kindly let me get behind you. Oh, his shields came back online. You want the bride's booty on a quickie? I don't want the bride's booty. I'm not. I'm not here to steal your your bride. Just uh, just the cake, just the wedding cake. There we go. Drives are out. Okay, five percent hull. Let's just. Uh, let that heal a little bit while I get my collectors out. Be careful not to boot the wedding barge. The uh, I don't want to murder the uh, the wedding party. I just want I want all their their loot. And this is kind of difficult because the wedding barge is going very fast out of range. Okay, here we go. I think we found a nice equilibrium. Alright, collectors, do your thing. What is that? His, his, he just came back online. That's not supposed to happen. Why'd you do that? Did this change? Is this a new thing? Also, why do my collectors keep expiring? It's so bizarre. I think they're just, like, going out of range and dying. Uh, I think so. The cake and the wedding presents, absolutely. I just want some spoils for my trouble, you know? There's tons of booty here. All mainly, uh... Marine equipment and water purifiers, but... I'll take what I can get. Of course, security can get here anywhere. I think the clipper, I don't know, man. Uh, I I think the look is what I like the most about it. It just looks like a really cool ship. I like it more than the cutter. Yeah. Which I do. Do you have a cutter? No. Uh, someday, maybe. I see them. I see them a lot. One day, I mean, I have to do... What is it? Like, I am a lieutenant commander in the Federation with 94% rank, so I'm actually, like, pretty close to the next rank, but I think it's, like, three more painful, arduous, grueling, grind-filled ranks until I will be able to get the, uh, the Corvette. And then I'm only Baron for the Empire, which means, like, I have a long way to go. Which, like, if you've done the rank grind, you know it's not, like... People do not typically go, oh, yay, rank grind, my favorite... My favorite gameplay. 
<coughs> Though I don't know. What's what? Do you know what? What? How did you guys do your rank grind? Do you just do missions and missions and missions? Yeah, one of those uh, go your missions, stack up places, get oh, yeah. places. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, grinding the grind until the grind was no more. Let's see here, I'm loading up with marine purifiers. We're gonna make a fish tank. For our whale! <laughs> the, the white whale, the, the orca. That's it, that's our mission, is to pirate a beluga. The same beluga that took me leg. Ugh. But yeah, I, I, I got, um, what do you call it, the, the the Xeno Scanner? I guess that was the last CG that we were doing. Did you guys get the reward for it? Because I was in the top 25%, but I did not get a free uh, Xeno Pulse Neutralizer. I wouldn't have had to buy one. Oh, no, I didn't do the CGs. No, nah, I got in early with the... Um, uh, Gank? No, not the gank. The crack hack, whatever it was. They gave it away early, so I just went to a station and right. bought one. Uh, yeah, sorry. My bad, but when FDev F up, then I'm F in there. Yeah. <laughs> you never notice the federal grind. I think the federal grind is easier because I tend to spend a lot of time in, like, federal regions. Whereas, like, you have to do the Imperial, you have to, like, go to that part of space. And that part of space, I don't go to that often. I don't know why. I think because, like, most of the places that I want to go are, like, kind of close to Sol or Alioth or in between those. I don't know. I'd be interested to hear, like, you know, like, you didn't get your CG World right either. Okay. So, that was a glitch. Oh, someone's attacking you. Who is that? Oh, it's a Viper. How cute. All right. Lift the shields. See how much more loot I can get before uh, before they oust me. Uh, you're physically sick after finishing the Imperial rank grind. Did it for an entire day to get the cutter. An entire day? Oh my lord. I mean, yeah, I would, I would, I, I you gotta space that shit out. I ha myself have spaced out the grind over a period of seven years, and I'm still not done. <laughs> I don't know if that's if that's wise gameplay, wise light decisions, or. Uh, Laziness. Okay, I might need to actually run. Yes, I think I'm going to be running now. Because all my collectors are dead. Yeah, I use uh, a cutter for, for piracy normally. Use the cutter it's to nice. get to that. Yeah, it's nice to be tanky and uh, uh, have a high mass lock factor and a lot of optional slots. Can spam I, a lot of lipids. I do kind of like the Dingus stuff. I wonder, is this place? Oh, okay. It does. Oh, it is a suspended black market, so we can't sell stuff here. So I did find there is an anarchy system a couple jumps away from me. Lan Wang. I don't know if it has a black market. Let's check it out. Uh, what up? What up? What up? It does. Okay. Do you want to go to, to the Anarchy system? Mm, I'm going to head to Lan Wang. Go ca just... cash in, repair, and uh, we can see if there's uh, easy pickings over there. I'm just going to pick up my loot again. I put it on my p carrier. Yeah. Because on the last day, so close to finishing for like 10 hours, Total Grind took way more than that. Oh yeah, ten ten hours of grinding an elite. Like I would need like a month to like uh, to get over that. I spent a week uh, hunting scouts to get my elite in combat. It was hell. Just turreted MC cannons, cutter all day, <laughs> hunting scouts. I mean, like everyone has different like play styles or whatever in elite. I, I am a big believer in the, like, grind should not be dedicated. Like, the way to play this game is just, like, go out with a very loose objective for, like, yeah, maybe I'll just go check out this system, or maybe I'll just do some piracy, and then fun things will happen. But as soon as you're like, I want to accomplish, like, this specific mission, like, uh, unlocking this rank, or getting this permit, that's where everything in the game will start working against you, and then it becomes frustrating. 
Although some people, I don't know, they like that. Say the masochists. <laughs> but the, yeah. I, I, I think this game is at its best when you have very loose, high-level objectives. Yeah, I don't play like that. <laughs> I, I like to achieve things, and that's just my playstyle. I mean, it's nice, it's nice to achieve, but like, in your own time. I have very loose, high objective bowels, but I don't think that counts. You say bowels? Yeah, I'm not talking about vowels. I'm talking about the dirty stuff. <laughs> very, oh, I get it. I get it. Loose bowels. <laughs> I mean, hey, 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 sometimes you gotta go. That's why, that's why we wear vacuum tubes in our spacesuits. And just poof into the seat, and then it gets deposited in bio waste t uh, uh, tubs. What do you, <laughs> tubs? What am I thinking of? Cargo? What, what do you call the cargo things? Canisters. Cargo tubs. Can you imagine if, like, instead of canisters, they replaced that with the word tubs? Pick up, pick up a tub of brandy. I'd love it. Like, you could just, like, I wonder if, if, what it, cause you know, like, like, people have been able to do, like, HUD replacers, right? Like EDHM. But, could you do a word replacer in Elite and just rename, like, common words? Like, call stars, like, shiny boys. Like, anytime that word is detected in there. Like, it's like, it replaced, like, signal source with, like, like, uh, noisy thingy. And just, like, rewrite the HUD. I think that would actually be a really fun, like, mod. I agree. There was stuff like that I mean, in, um, in, like, Fallout 4, where, like, uh, you, you could just, like, rename certain words. You got some narcotics, nice. I mean, they're all language packs, so I guess it's possible to change the words. Right? I heard also, um, like, eddb.io is, is dead, but um, I heard that some people are working on a new one. I can't remember the name of it. It's certainly not as catchy. But uh, apparently there, there's one that's coming out that's like going to be open source, or maybe it is out. I've been using Inara in the meantime, but uh, I do kind of miss eddb.io. I, I, I went to use it for this, and I was like, oh yeah, shite. Not doing the grind, so he's setting a goal, working towards it. Yeah, I mean, like, have, like, your long-term goal, which is, like, to, I don't know, get a billion dollars. But, like, don't don't try to get a billion dollars today. <laughs> like, if, you, if you're like, yeah, I want to get a billion dollars by the time I log off, you're going to have a bad time. Oh, maybe I haven't cashed in the community goal. I'm just, oh, wait, no, no, that's the uh, the other one I didn't, didn't do anything for. Uh, I wanted to get combat elite for science reasons, you know, Raxla, Dark Wheel and stuff. Yeah, I'm very close. I'm like on the last rank before combat elite. Only about one eighth left, one seventh. Oh my, it's very bright in here. Uh, landing pad 25, thank you. When edbdd dot went down, when eddb dot io went down, you thought ed was next. Oof. Well, I mean, every two weeks, I think Elite's going to die. <laughs> oh no, they're never going to update it again, and they keep going. I mean, eddb dot was like one guy, and like apparently his story was like, he's like, yeah, I built this all, like I'm a programmer and shit. And he's like, I maintained it for like ten years, and Frontier is like difficult to work with, so. I'm just like, I can't do this anymore, I gotta do other shit. I get it, right? Okay, sweet, let's sell this. Let's sell this stuff. I think we made like almost $100,000 in profit. This is not very profitable. But that's fine, I don't care, it's fun. Do you have anything else? No. Earls of Ross, okay. I don't want to pay this off yet. 
I've got, um, I've been, like, like, what I love about the Thargoid War, though, is that you can, like, rack up those combat bonds and you don't actually need to cash them in. Like, they're all totally, like, you, you could die as many times as you want, it doesn't matter. It's a dead game since release. I know, when did Elite Dangerous die? It's, like, somewhere around between the Kickstarter and it going live. And it's still dead to this day. So this is uh, an anarchy system in a boom state. So this actually might be a good place to pirate. Let's see what happened here. Oh, look at that. I got some reputation. Uh, I have limpets. I do. But honestly, you know, it's like, like I... I, I, I'm like at the point now where I'm like, I don't think we're gonna get ship interiors. I just don't believe it. Not unless they rewrote the whole new game. Oh, why would you have to go and say a thing like that? I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna happen. But I don't, I don't, like, I want new planets. I want to land on ammonia worlds and atmospheric worlds and get out and walk around. I've given up on ship interiors, even though I really want them. But I, I have not given up on, like, new planets. I think they can do that. And if they did that, people would be like, Oh my god! And then two weeks later, they'd be like, the game is dead. It's about the hunt, not the profit. Or is it? The hunt is the profit. Alright, let's see what we can find in this system. What it, actually, what is the population here? 5.3 million. That should be enough people. I guess the population will determine what, like, the signal source spawn rate, but also, like, the number of NPCs that are just, like, floating around in space. Yeah, I think the... Something like that. Mono fantasies, yeah. Flix engineering, yeah. I mean, what do you think is working about engineering? I think it's okay. <clears throat> I mean, like, I would like them to, like, nerf it a, the material requirements a little bit. Or make it more interesting, but... I would rather they fix Power Play and CQC. Which I think are, like, two areas of the game that had, like, huge potential. That could be so cool. And they're just not... Oh, hello, my friend. A Crate Mark II. Let's see here. Oh, he's got a manifest scanner. He's a bounty hunter. Even though all I want is an airlock using the stairway. I know, right? I I, I I agree. I'm like, even if you don't give me ship interiors, just give me a little airlock where the door opens and closes and I get on an elevator in my ship and it goes to the cockpit. Uh, you wish there's more stuff to do on foot. Yeah, I know, right? It, it does feel kind of like um, Odyssey launched. They kind of had all the missions in there. And I feel like it's like they haven't really like done that much more Odyssey stuff. It's all been Thargoid stuff. Which I'm like enjoying, but I would like to see more Odyssey stuff. All these other bounty hunters. Yeah, the only real end game for Odyssey stuff seems to be to work BGS, but in a new way. Work that BGS. Well, it's like a Thargoid BGS now, too, right? Uh, oh, it's all bounty hunters. We may not always agree with what we would like to see next, but we can all agree we'd like to see something other than good stuff. Agreed. I mean, yeah, it's just like... it. Like, I saw that No Man's Sky was putting on another update. And I keep getting, like, that huge FOMO where I'm like, I wish I really liked No Man's Sky more than I did. It just there's something in it that I just don't... It just doesn't, like, make me want to do the thing. But I, like, have so much respect for how many freaking updates, how consistent it's been, and how, like, much the updates have added, and I just, I wish we had that. It would be so nice. A lack. Raven, why won't you hear our pleas? Or do you hear them and they make you, uh, they make you horny? Because you're a masochist. <laughs> He's like, ha ha ha, deny them. Deny them more worlds. Well, it's weird, though, because, yeah, we are in that, like, state where it's, like, 
what is the roadmap right now? And I know we're, we we have that state a lot. It seems with the, with elite. <laughs> oh. Okay, I got a tip six here and a convoy. What's he got? Basic medicines and limpets. Lame. Okay, what about this cobra? Ted Turner. Computer components. Eh. This isn't worth it. My, I would, I would pirate bio waste. Bio waste, low temperature diamonds, platinum, or anything cool. Or wedding vouchers, of course. Uh, teleport between the airlock and the cockpit doors or seat would be okay. Yeah, I'm like I'm fine with like I got in the elevator and then like okay I'm in my seat now. The elevator, this elevator could be the seat. Just have the seat go down into the ship, go along a tube, and it's like you get in the elevator, you sit in your chair, and it just like I don't even care if it fades at that point, and you just like appear in your ship. I'd be fine with that. It just add that that little extra touch, right? Which if you remember, like fleet carriers when they launched, they didn't have a bridge, and you couldn't see the totally awesome jump. And they added the bridge, and even though the concourse, like, you know, it's not that much to it, I mean, from a development standpoint, maybe, it just made the fleet carriers so much cooler. Uh, no. Ask out. Cobra Mark III here with a mine laser, I'm gonna check it out. Oh, this guy's name is Ahoy Hoy 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 Hoy. All just like pulse lasers. A dolphin. Captain James R. Kitney. That's an R. Kelly there for a second. Also, it's like I have to keep turning my head. I am I'm actually one eyed in, in, in real life right now. Uh, the remastered version of Day of the Tentacle is on sale on Steam for four ninety nine. That's a pretty good price. Manifest Scanner. Pirate Scum. Uh, you're another pirate too. I will pirate for matters, I don't care. Oh, the Gathering of the Mats? Yeah, I mean like, I, the way I... I ugh. I'm gonna get into a base building rant again. Stop me, somebody stop me. So I just want a little mining base that I could just set up and it just mines materials passively and I just visit it every week and it's like, here's your shit. That would just make my life so much easier. Outsourcing. James R. Kidney? Uh, it's not time for a bio break yet. I know, Luke, you're just like hungry, aren't you? Is it Diamondback Scout? You know weather up. You find anything on your Cobra? Oh, this I one just has had silver. I got a refinery here. Interdicting. Or no, looping of shame. Hi, Reese. You got a guy named Kyle Reese? No, uh, you were targeting uh, Kyle Reese, I think. Come with it's me if the, you want to the, live. The, the, the Phantom. Great, great Phantom. So why is this guy, like, circling me? Does he know? Why is he, why is he doing this? Is he trying to interdict me? <laughs> what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna stop. Why don't you go forward? Is it a DPS? Yeah. So F Dev doesn't like the idea of passive income. They don't seem to realize the game like comes through all that goes into establishing your income sources. I, 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 I guess, like, the argument is kind of like, I guess, and, and Phil, you're in, you're in, like, game design, you know the theory of it. 
This is so annoying. This guy will not let me interdict him. Um, like, do you design a game based on, like, your vision and what you want to see out of the game, or do you design it based on, like, what the audience wants? Uh, well, it's, it's not really a question I can answer right now, because I've just been studying, and we're making small games in our little project groups at school. Not really, not really games to be played by the public, but only by our educators and teachers. Right. Uh, so it's not really gotten that far yet, but... I like to roleplay it and imagine that my teachers are the target audience and like our, our job is kind of to make a game that they would like, i.e. buy, if it was real life. Uh, you, can, you can combine it, I mean, I think uh, my personal uh, philosophy is you need to have a balance, like you need to have your own vision and make the game of your vision, but not too much, so that it only becomes a game that only you want to play and no one else in the world. It's got to have a balance between that, those two and uh, yeah, I think that's the key. Does yeah, it's, sense? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, maybe the balance is the. Sorry, I'm like just raging. Like, why is this guy just like playing, jousting with me? I'm just gonna sit here. Oh no, he's gone. No, he's here, but you can't see him because you're going too slow. Yeah. Sorry. Sensor uh -huh. range. Uh, sensor range depends on your actual speed as well, though. for some uh -huh. reason. I knew that like you can like drop off and people don't see you. I didn't know that you can't see them. It works both ways. I'm trying to flank him, but he's also circling me. Well, I'm, I'm circling you, I guess. So that's why he's circling me. <laughs> it's so weird. But I'm trying to flank him so I can get this guy. I'll try to appealing to his AI sympathies. I'm gonna switch directions, I'm gonna go this way. Mix it up, confuse him. And there's like three of them that are like all together. Oh my lord. Oh look, now I'm being interdicted. Okay, I'll submit. So who interdicted me? Oh, it was Dead Star. <laughs> did you? <laughs> did you? Were you trying to interdict him, and then you actually interdicted me? Uh, missions that open openly pit players against each other and have them team up to screw with the mission provider. Ooh, now you get into some. Okay, there's an Orca. Maybe this Orca will be easier. Hello, Chilean. Uh, you have mines. I no, I do not touch. <laughs> do not pirate people if they have mines. Trust me on this. Okay, that might have broken the cycle. I'm going back after that diamond back. I want it. After the after that loop of shame, that infinite loop of shame. It's like you you owe me you owe me whatever your cargo is. You wish you had time you're fiddling around to Godot, an open source game engine to make a point click adventure. Ooh. In the Elite Universe! Oh yeah. That'd be awesome. That would be cool to do like an old like Sierra like Space Quest kind of like adventure game set in Elite. Like I would still play that. Yeah, your interdictor won't work. Well, these DBSs, they're, they're, uh... Oh, I think Phil's got them. Yeah. Okay, nav locking on Phil. Bring him down, Phil. Let's get his wooty. Monkey Island, oh yeah. Guybrush Threepwood. Wake out of range. Okay. Let's come closer. Arr, what do you carry? Eva. Ina. Okay, stop doing the loopy thing. Let's see here. You're a knight. 
and osmium. No, you're a knight. <laughs> you're a knight. <laughs> I am the knight. Are we, are we stealing it? Yes. Well, honestly, I don't. I don't want it, but I do want to take it. It has the <laughs> word Yuri in it, so it's worth taking. Give me your urinite. All right, waiting for the cargo to drop. Here we go. Thank you for your donation, sir. I don't even want it all. I just, I just wanted something from him for him sucking up my time. <laughs> this is an anarchy system, so there won't be any problem with cops. Oh, why do my collectors keep like doing this? They keep expiring. I guess because like the urinite is like flying away at rapid velocities, and the collectors just don't know when to give out the chase. Maybe that's sweet, sweet cargo. Yeah, I got some osmium here. Only two pieces, though. It's like we don't, we don't pirate for profit. We pirate because we can. The dark heavy, you got pretty good at like hafnium piracy. What was your hafnium spot? Or is that a trade secret? Uh, no, uh, it was um, how long ago? About a year ago. Uh, just researching stuff from back in the day. Military courier vessels do uh, look for signal sources where you've got um, uh, convoy pattern dispersal things in Imperial. Uh, systems that were at peacetime or war or whatever the heck it was, and then just go in there, blast it up, and be prepared to take a lot of damage while you're doing patch breakers and just going, Yep, yeah, I'm taking damage, but give me all the half of them and then get the heck out. Um, was as far as I remember, um, yeah, that was about a year ago, so excuse me, um, a bit foggy since then. But uh, yeah, half near 178, the most dangerous material known to elite dangerous. And, and, and like you, you could only get it uh, from piracy, right? Like you cannot, you can't get it from uh, like any shops. Yeah, can't trade up, can't trade down, can't buy it. Whatever it is, literally, mm. you're gonna have to take on. Yeah. Uh, what was it? It was. Um, it was a couple of heavy hitter boys, uh, th like three ships minimum. And they'd be like military and all over your ass and stuff. You, yeah, you really had to be um, willing to take the rebuy screen before you um, managed to make good on your piracy skills. The risk is part of the part of the profession. And what up, Eddie? Thank you. Yes, I, I have the I have the palsy. <coughs> Thank you for that. Yeah, I should be like I don't know. The guy said like uh, or the doc or whatever said like. Usually people start to like get better around like two to three weeks, but like it could take six months before it like fully recovers. I'm gonna try like uh, like they gave me like drugs and shit, but like uh, I gotta try like acupuncture and uh, like there's like facial exercises and stuff. But like it's crazy, I can't move the left side of my face. So I'm wearing like an eye patch and talking like a pirate, a pirate that puts cotton balls in his mouth. Goes, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> hey, what up, Reese? How you doing? Your brain is already cracked. I mean, it's like a wrinkly thing, right? Your brain basically is just like a bunch of cracks. There's a bunch of cracks in your brain. Uh, Kilmore scanner. That is a bounty hunter. I'm gonna try this DBS here with a mining laser. Ooh, a python. Manifest scanner. Oh, he's a pirate. It's kind of cool how you can look at their uh, cargo and figure out like what their job is. Just like that man with the briefcase. He must be a businessman.
And Phil, you said you got you got a hot target. This system might not be as good. There is also a military system in the area. One with slow orbital. Where are you, Phil? There you are. I'm here. You're behind me. Yeah, I mean, I hope it gets better in a couple of weeks, but... Uh, at least it's not something worse, right? Yeah, I think, like, it was like... When I first woke up like that, and I'm like... Did I have a stroke or something? I'm like, literally went to the, uh... Well, actually, no. To be honest, I <laughs> went out drinking that night. Because I was like... Maybe I just slept weird, right? Like, it was like, you just, you just like, yeah, I slept weird. Maybe I just, like, pinched a muscle. I'll, I'll sleep on it. Probably should have gone to the hospital that day, but I went the next day, and they're like, yeah, it's like this Bell's palsy thing. It's like, it's harmless. Like, the only danger is, like, you can scratch your cornea or whatever, you're like, your eye, your eyeball. So they're like, uh, you know, like, uh, keep it moisturized. Like, lick your eyeball frequently with uh, eye drops. And, um... Consider becoming a pirate. And I said, okay, I will do this. And here we are, pirating. Am I doing it right? We've actually been decent at this. I haven't died once. If Loot's out there, he's just furiously holding his finger above the F key, shaking with rage. Is he giving you the loop to loop there? Uh, I can't seem to interdict him. I don't know what's going on. Even when I'm in range and behind him and stuff. Yeah, it's giving me the loop, the loop. What's his name? Okay. It's not working. Is it because I am wing? Now? It's these Diamondback Scouts, man. They're just like. Is it because you're winged to me? Yes, because Raven hates me. Okay, can you retreat him? Oh yeah, it's always Takosa music in the in the background. Man, this guy is like just perpetually turning in a way that like no one can ever interdict him. Therefore, he must have something to hide. Exactly. It's like when there's three people, and it's like we're all approaching him from different sides, and he's somehow jousting with each one of us. Like, this guy's the best pilot that ever existed. He's moving like, straight away from me, but I still can't shoot him in the back. Uh, I think it's bugged. That's so weird. Alright, we can try, um, even though this is an anarchy system, it doesn't seem to be yielding that much good woody. But there's a place nearby, where is it, where is it here? Vesper M4. The famous home, this is actually one of the few, um, like, systems that actually has, like, a system description. It's the home for the hammers of Slow, and Slow Orbital is the main port there. Now that is a military place, so we can look for those, like, dangerous convoys that um, Dark Heavy was talking about. Maybe get ourselves some half Uh Not sure if eye drops clear the eyes. I got the Visine. I got Visine. I don't know what, it, what, what the difference is. Which, I thought it's just like a brand name. Uh, even with Bell's Fall, you're still streaming. Yeah, and I've been going into work, and people are like, why do you look like a pirate? And I'm like... It's a life choice, don't judge me. Uh, that's the system, the book Mostly Harmless is based around. Really? Oh, cool. We're in, we're in the lore now. All right, let's just scoop a little bit, wait for some NPCs to drop in. Now, what, um, this, oh, this is also an anarchy system, wonderful. Wonderful. That Cobra here. How are you guys for jump ranges in your ships? Uh, look. 
Oh, Kate Russell, that's right. I think Kate Russell and Drew Wagar both wrote their books for like a competition and then Drew got picked or whatever to, to write the lore. I've got 22 light years in this uh, assault uh, ship. Got a good fuel scoop. I am literally dressed up like a pirate right now. I'm wearing an eye patch and I, well, I put on a little vest too. It's not like a, a great pirate costume, but it's good enough. You might as well have some fun with it. You did a few online uh, events with them with um, the Hammers. I've never, I never, I don't think I know anyone from the Hammers. They're gonna know me now when they see me on the bounty board, though. Or though I guess I won't because it's anarchy. Like, how do you even get a bounty in an anarchy system? Mm, you can't. But I've managed to get bounties in Bologna. So I guess, like, if there's a non-anarchy faction and you go to, like, their facility and screw around, maybe that that's how you get it. But you're not wanted. You're just, like, you have a fine with that local faction. Okay, these guys do not seem like miners. What we really need is that sweet, sweet T9. Uh, they both got officially published. Kate's book was more of a lighthearted take with some strangely dark stuff mixed in. I like that mix. I have not read it. I do I do have one of Drew Wagar's books. I got him to sign it at uh, LaveCon. Okay, so this guy does have mining lasers. He also does have mines, though, so be careful. Uh, Cobra? Yeah, yeah. Jaltu. Jaltu Moondancer. Who's, who's interdicting him? Yeah, I am. I will... Okay, I'm locked onto you. Mr. Moondancer. Moonraker! Alright, Moondancer. What you got? What you hiding? Show me your goods! What's he got here? Let's see... Liquid oxygen, hydrogen peroxide. And limpets. Yeah. Let's steal limpets with our limpets. Sweet, sweet yeah, why not? Give me your limpets! I need more limpets. One limpet for money. Go, 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 gadget limpet. Come on, come on! What do we got? Liquid oxygen? Limpets! We've got the limpets. Okay, I need to like... Did he get away? Yes. That's fine, we'll take what we can get. We are, we are pirates of fortune, really. I wish you could get um, engineering on your limpets to make them actually faster. <laughs> like rocket powered limpets. Or at least the controller being modded for that, yeah. Okay, I've got an ASP scout, and we all know how the community feels about those. I will we also I don't will... know how the community feels about my interdiction skills, because apparently it's getting away from me. But, uh, apparently hey. none of us can interdict anything, because it's, like, impossible now. The NPCs have learned. Okay, drop on me. Still collecting all this crap. So, do you actually get stolen limpets? Yes, actually. 
It's two, I, like, I have two stolen limpets. They're like regular limpets, but they're like tattooed and have a knife or something. It's a hot limpet. Badass. Badass limpets. Hey man, you want these these limpets? Those limpets look hot to me. Oh, he's got clothing, by waste, and liquor. Oh yeah! All the necessities of life. Actually, I used three limpets. I only got two stolen limpets. That was kind of a bust. But I got some liquid oxygen and peroxide. What I'm going to do with it, I don't know. Maybe make some rocket fuel. I have to sit here and wait for my limpets to get back. I, I really do, like, I, like, limpet speed would be a cool thing to engineer. Like, right now, the only thing you can engineer on limpets is, like, lightweight and armored and, like, stuff like that, right? I think it would be really cool to have, like, limpet speed, limpet, limpet time length, limpet, limpet durability. Maybe limpets, the collector limpets that can hold two things. Or, like, hatchbreakers that have uh, more armor against uh, point defense. All the possibilities. Well, clearly Paul Bowman has some kind of point defense thing, so I'm just going to spam him with hatch breakers until he drops all the clothing and all the other stuff. Oh, Duster yeah. got some bio waste. Is it stolen? Stolen bio waste? Stolen bio waste! That's the good stuff! <laughs> Yeah. That bio waste is hot. That's some hot bio waste. Coming in the black market, be like, how much you'll pay me for this? Depends what the man ate. If it's Raven Burger bio waste, no one wants that. Throw it into the sun. Where's the guy? I see like so many white things. Who dis? There's a fertile ants! Why? 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 Okay, I'm, apparently I'm hatch breakering him. This fertile ants must be dealt with. Ow! Third lance is actually like melting really quickly. Yes, yeah, so those uh, big size three beam lasers are awesome. I love them. Once you get their shields down, they don't last long. Okay, he's just like bumping against me, isn't he? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I keep feeling like I'm hitting a wall in space. Have I found the edge of space, finally. After all these years. Seekers. Still the way. Well, I'm kind of done with this guy. I think we've got all the bio waste out of him that we're ever going to get, so I'm just going to kill him. If that's okay. I don't know. I've got missiles for science. There might be materials. Oh yeah, materials. That's still piracy, right? In a way. Uh, yeah, scavenging the bodies of your dead is still piracy, even though they're dead instead of alive, I guess. Oh, look, there's tons of bio waste. I think I just sent out one collector limpet. I, I kind of don't like how when you target uh, an individual cargo thing, the limpet goes there, gets it, 
and then comes back and it's like, well, my purpose is done. Like, I wish they just kept going. Like, they, I, I like that they would, like, prioritize that first, but, like, you know, don't stop. I think oh, I go. might have just become a war criminal. Uh oh. Oh, if it's individually targeted, the limpet's faster. Interesting. Yeah, faster movement speed, yeah. Not single use, so it's a payoff. No, I don't want clothing. I want. There's more bioways to be had. Where's all the bioways? Okay, here's some. Oops! Okay, that's now on my hull. I booped it. Where? Uh, oh! Okay, there it is. I'll just take this one manually. Oops. Okay, I booped it again. I keep just like destroying the bio waste. Do you find that some ships are, like, really, really hard to scoop up cargo in? Mm, yes. Here we go, Limpet. Bring me that bio waste. Okay, how come I only have one? I only have one bio waste. This will not do. Why won't... Oh, you know why? Because my cargo is full. No, it's not. Why won't... Why is my limit just sitting there with the bio waste? Give me the bio waste. Oh, okay. As soon as I looked at it. There we go. Now I've got three. Oh my god. Sweet. This is working. Scat Pirates was an old Ascorbius video. Oh yeah, I remember that one. I can't oh, yeah. wait. Ascorbius has got a new video coming out soon, and it's going to be epic. We have billions of credits between us. Why are we pirating clothing and bio -ways? Because we can. Because it's fun. It's part of, it's part of the circle of life. Oh wait, I have to find my nap lock. Low temperature diamonds into clothing into bio waste and then back. It's the full circle of life. You guys suck at being pirates, maybe you should do a sacrificial F spot. What? What? Loot! I have like three units of stolen bio waste. Uranite. All this other stuff. We're doing amazing here. We're just this is just the beginning. Oh holler. Slobodan. Slobodan Milosevic. What's he got here? Eh. Eh. I think we should also keep an eye out for those um, signal sources. Maybe I'll go into scan mode. Hold on. Let's see if we can find some of those, like... What were they called, Dark Heavy? Where the, the, uh, the convoys appear? Is it just convoy, or, like... Do they have, oh, like, a... Military dispersal convoys or something like that. If you're talking about half near 178, yeah, it's was a, it a, was it a convoy on. dispersal pattern? Yeah, that's about right. It's like a certain threat level, maybe, or like threat level zero does not seem like the kind of thing that we want to be. We want the high threat. Distress call. Yeah, got a type six. He seems to be making a run for it. Degraded emissions. What this? Distress call. Alright, there's no good signal sources here. Ok, 
Okay, I'm on the Type 6 interdicting, hyperdicting, whatever the thing is the thing. On a Convoy SS Threat 4, okay. Heading towards Dark Heavy. I like that with the Ming, Ming Man Navlock, you don't need to slow down. Oh, there. Oh, it's still by a scan, you buddy. All right, he has power generators. Oh, trinkets of hidden fortune and prototype top. Oh, hi. This guy's worth a pirate. I'll try to, uh, I'll slow him down. You want to take out his drives? Oop, where'd he go? Slippery little bugger. His drives will be down now. Okay. Now the hatchbreakers come. It's actually very far out of range. And just like it's weird though, I didn't know that the NPCs can now like reboot repair. That's a little bit like crazy. Let's see, what do we Oh yeah, there's tons of good stuff here. Is there like clothing and mechanical scrap and team stuff? Uh, I think it's like trinkets of hidden fortune and porta tech. tech. Power generators, all the good stuff. All the good stuff. We love a good power generator. I mean, I'd prefer bio waste. Because it's funny. Some SS can, uh, signal stressors can uh, be ships getting pirated. Oh, interesting. Eagles like mad at me. Oh look, he's back. I'm gonna send another patch waker at him. He he, he like yeah. came back to like get his revenge, and now it's just like okay, I'll take more. Convoy dispersal okay. threat for had four type nines, system defense force with nothing of note. Hmm. Yeah, dude's just like here to like hurt me. But uh, you're just like letting me take more stuff. You fool. You're the worst traitor ever! At least he's like staying still there. Yes, yes. You just sit there and shoot at me and I will just hatch breaker you over and over again. And he's doing like no damage, I love it. Look at this face off. This is piracy at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Just just Sit there, hammer him over and over. And just keep taking his stuff. Who's shooting me? Oh, 
Well, someone died there. Actually, you know what? I don't want to be shot, so I'm just going to, like, kind of do this. I'm just going to come around here. There we go. Oh, this is what I like to see. <laughs> He's finally submitted. I think he's out of cargo. Oh no, wait, no, no. Here comes more. The circle of life. Oh, all the booty. Look at this. Look at all this. This guy was hacking. Do you have any more? Oh, no, no, not secret missiles. I'm not a murderer. Just a pirate. Just your friendly neighborhood pirate. What else you got, sir? I, was, I got... I, you, could, you could keep that. You can keep that. Oh my god, Phil, how many limits do you have? Um, not, not that much. I only have 32 cargo on this. And I'm uh, all out of limits now. And you look... Loot. Do you have like four limpets or something? Uh, yeah, three or three or four. It's, cool. it's a, just this beautiful. Uh, I love watching the limpets. It's the gift that just keeps on giving. Yo, yo, yo! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who's shooting? Did he get back online again? I could, I could, I could murder you. Don't murder him. Who's murdering him? Uh, I am, but I'm not sure he's fine. He's still alive. Look, he's he's drifting now. Okay, there we go. I love the, I love his rebellious nature. I actually, I've I've become fond of this NPC. We have a kindred spirit. Just someone, someone's clearly outmatched you. Four people are pirating you, and you're sitting there shooting them <laughs> with no engines. I love it. <laughs> Man, there's still so much stuff. I'm actually almost full. I might have to ditch some limpets. Let's see, six trinkets of hidden fortune, twelve power generators. Uh, oh no, sorry, four trinkets of hidden fortune, six liquid oxygens, one hydrogen peroxide, five uranites, and three bio wastes. And seven prototype tech. The prototype tech is decent, decent money. Yeah, much better than the fortune ones. Which is weird. Well, make the most of it, because he's gone. It's funny because the uh, description for hidden fortune is that it's like low value trinkets. Well. They're low value trinket, low value trinkets, knickknacks, and statuettes. But there is some, isn't there some lore about this? Like, that like they could, they could be puzzle pieces, part of the great lore that no one knows. Are my limpets just collecting all the limpets I just dumped, or are we actually getting more good stuff? I don't know. All right, I gotta go cat. I gotta go cash this stuff in. Yeah, me too. And I'm going to go for a quick bio break, so see you after the great cash in. Alright. I'll head back to Fung Orbital in Lan Lanwang. <coughs> and then uh, I'm going to take a bio break myself. Alright. I'm, I'm heading there. Wait, hold on. Lower cargo screw? Hold on, my little buddy wants to give me more goods. No space for cargo. Oh wait, yeah, okay. Right, 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 right.
Okay. That's good enough. Yeah. Alright, uh, Threat T had two Condas and a Type 9, which on them either tried for some battle weapons, but they beat the crap out of me. Yeah, they'll do that. That's the, that's the hard part, is when you find a wing, right? And it's like there's three of them. This is stupid me when I was at Hellport and I saw, what, one Hefnium 178 in a Type 9, and it had a four Anaconda Escort, and I just went for it solo, and I died. And I lost a lot of exploration data. It was very sad. But it was also fun. Hey, see you, Ray. Oh, seven. Alright, gonna dock at Fung Orbital. See what we get for our haul. Really, money is kind of something that I do need. I've only got 1.2 billion dollars. I keep, I keep, like, going for money. Now, I do have some combat bonds that I'm working on, but my strategy there is, um, basically, like, get as much of the Thargoid War done as possible for, like, get to, like, a couple billion dollars, and then do the whole Arisa Levengi power play. And when you get to great, uh, level 5 in that, which I think costs about 100 million or something like that, in, in many precious hours of your time, um, once you get to that point, um... At grade 5, it doubles the value of your bonds. So if I have 2 billion in combat bonds, that'll be 4 billion dollars, and we'll be back in business, baby. At least for another year of fleet carrier maintenance. Yeah. Do you guys keep yeah. all, all your services on your fleet carriers, or do you like scale your fleet carriers down to minimize the maintenance. Well, I have most services. I don't think I've disabled any. I probably should have. I've been away from the game for 18 weeks, but uh, still got plenty of money, it seems. I just I de definitely turn mine off. Yeah, uh, scale it down. If you're in a system where there's already restock, refuel, resupply, then sorry, there's a planetary base that can do that for you, that kind of thing. So. Yeah, yeah, it's all about carrier management, I guess. See, I just like the uh, idea that, like, even if it's, like, once in every 12 months, that someone can just go to the Danga bus and actually, like, do stuff there. Like, sit at the bar. Like, sometimes Valor will do that. He'll be like, hey, I'm on the bar on the Danga bus. I'm like, cool. Right, that's, like, that's why I pay those hefty, hefty fees. Just for that small possibility. Someone may come to Bologna's. And be like, I'm gonna buy some limpets. I'll go to this Danga bus. What is this? Although I guess like with the new carrier menu, like unless you are seeking out a specific carrier, I feel like it's a lot less likely people will just like randomly visit you because all the carriers are stacked, right? Mm, yeah, most. Yeah, they have introduced that new graphic, which is like one fleet carrier and you hover over it and they're like, yeah, there's 13 fleet carriers stacked here. Which one do you want to see? And I'm like, whoa. Which, yeah, it's good. It declutters the screen, but I, I don't know. I kind of like the old way of doing it, which is like, yeah, you're looking in the system. Now zoom out. There's 128 fleet carriers here. Oh, busy. I mean, but, yeah, but it was also really annoying when you're like, where's that one place that I need to go? Although you can use the fleet carriers as like, okay, where are all the fleet carriers? Because that's where it's, that's where I need to go, <laughs> typically. Oh yeah, Valor said you keep your services running. It's just like I don't know. It's just one of those things where it's just like even if it's like once in a blue moon, if someone were to go buy a sidewinder, because I've got a shipyard, you could buy a sidewinder from the Danga bus if you want. Use it as a bookmark. I don't care. Do what you want. It's your sidewinder. All right, let's see. Actually, hydrogen peroxide sells for, what, $3,000 a unit? That's, that's better than I thought. We are making, like, no money. <laughs> this is terrible. We need LTDs. Ooh, urinite. That did okay. Bio waste. I kind of want to hang on to that, but no. We'll let you go. Okay, there we go. Prototype tech, 9 units, 258k. That's the ticket. I probably have uh, 
Yeah, and a million in bounties. And trade dividends. Interesting. More limbics, please. What do you do for your like limpet ratio? Do you try to have like half half of your cargo full of limpets or more? Starting out. Yeah. No, I just fill up. Just fill up all the way. Yeah, so I can spam them. Why can't I read the chat? You have adders for sale in the Dangalos. Yes, sidewinders and adders. It's a double uh, double pack. Okay, well let me get out. I'm gonna take a bio break. I might as well leave the ship and go to the bar. I was thinking we go back to that original system where we did find LTDs. Because that's where the real money's at. My oasis is just for honor. The fun of it. But yeah, I still haven't um, used the uh, the Pulse Wave Xeno Scanner yet. So, like, I tried to go to the center of Tyrannus, but, like... The build that I did that was going to be for like collecting shit was my chieftain, and I couldn't get it cold enough, and I just got wrecked by a glaive. Just like, like I think, yeah, one glaive. Uh, Super Cruise dicted me, and just ruined me. Yep, same here. It's like ridiculous. What do we do about the glaives? Like, how do we fight them? We run away, run away, very, very quickly. Well, I, run I, away, I, was, I was trying, I was trying, but you, you can't run away from them. They're devastating. Ooh, what's up with my frame rates? Uh oh, Odyssey's going crazy. Odyssey, and you can't damage them. Well, you you can, yeah, but I mean. Uh, hold on. Uh, what's going on? My frames are down to what, like six a second? Uh oh. My frames are down to three. What's going on? Uh, one momento. Why am I having all these tech issues lately? Uh... Oh my lord. I'm down to two frames a second. I might have to just quickly menu log. Oh wait, hold on. The frames came back. Oh god, we're back, okay. I just had to threaten it. Apparently, if you just threaten your computer, that's the best way to put it into shape. You mean turning it off and then turning it back on again? Well, just even threatening to turn it back on and turn it back on, that's enough sometimes to to be like, no, 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 don't do that to me! No, 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 no! I was, I was just data, I was just mining bitcoins on the side. Like, what were you doing, computer? Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go uh, take a bio break. I'll be back in five. Uh, then we'll do some more piracy. So I'll see you guys shortly. Get your stretches and hydrates and all that stuff. BRB and kidneys.
All right, I'm back. Ugh. <laughs> Drooling. Ugh. Facial nerves for only fifty dollars. Yeah. If I could pirate me some like some nerves, <laughs> nerve gas, I guess, eh? Oh, thanks, Valor. Thirteen thirty-seven. Feel better, you scurvy sea dog. I mean, it's like I, I was like a little bit freaked out, but not like oh, I, the only time when I really freaked out was when I went and googled it, and like WebMD was like telling me all the horrible things it could be, and I'm like, is it a flesh-eating brain parasite? No, uh, it's just Bell's palsy, which is like weird. Um, it sucks, but it's not. It's like an inconvenience, right? Like you know, it's like you just deal with it, but it's like okay, it's not. Um, it's temporary, allegedly, right? Um, yeah, there was definitely a moment where I was like, oh, what the hell, right? But, um, I don't know. It's like, uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate the, the sentiment. I just talk with a lisp, wear an eye patch, and, uh, you know, just wait it out, I guess, right? Oh, speaking of, I actually got to take these. They gave me, like, uh... Was it anti-inflammatories or something? I don't know. I'll well, take these pills every half hour. Oh. Oh, hold on. Ha ha ha. Sweet, sweet, precious pills. Well, thank you very much for the the well wishes. Yeah, I'm hoping it's like a three-week thing and I can, like, at least talk normal again. Um, when it comes to eating, too, like, I keep biting my lip, right? I was having some Korean hot dogs the other day and just, like, kept biting, biting my lip. But it's like, I don't feel it that much, so it's like, well, there's a there's a plus side. I mean, if, if there's ever a good time to get a facial tattoo, this would be it, right? But certainly, yeah, it's like, uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it's annoying. But everyone's, uh, everyone at work is like, yeah, you know, like, the eyepatch kind of suits you. You should keep that going. Like, maybe I will. <laughs> I've been like, I, I was thinking about watching uh, Escape from New York tonight. Just get a little, where's the damn thing? Oh, I thought it was up here. A little bit of Snake Pliskin. Oh yeah. Why don't you get a new president? <coughs> what a cool movie. Oh, got a Type 6 transporter. Vegan Tyson? biker. Hmm. Okay, I'm launching. Wait, do I have limpets? Okay, I have limpets. Oh, apparently I have damaged escape pods, too. And stolen limpets. Okay, here's the question. Do you use the stolen limpets as limpets, or are they just, like, registered to another ship and you can't use them? And tell me if the stream... I know it was buffering earlier. Oh, the game crashed on Deadstar. Oh, no. Send you an invite to get back in. Are we still in Lan Wang? I'm just leaving Fung Orbital, but yeah. Do, uh, do we want to go to the DJ Bush? DJ, DJ Bushes? That's where the LTDs are. Sure, yeah. I'm gonna head to DJ, DJ Bush's. What have you got, Dark Heavy? Should I come to you? Uh, I don't know. Still in the middle of interdictions. Type 6 transporter. Haven't managed to pull them out, but shortly about to. I'll come to Super Cruise with your assessment. If there be bio waste to plunder, then it's worth it. Blend your food, eat from a bucket. Don't forget your mint leaf. I know, but it's like, all the good food that I like is like stuff that, I, like sandwiches and burgers and pizza and stuff. And it's like, the stuff that I that's easier to eat is like little morsels, like sushi or like, uh, I don't know, like little tiny Imp things I can break up and put in my mouth and just chew on one side. Imperial slaves and hydrogen fuel? Would that do any good for you? Yeah. I mean, the imperial slaves might produce bio waste, but... I prefer it when it's already pre-processed. I like my bio waste uh, ready to go. 
You could get an Imperial slave, though, and then be like, your job, slave, is to produce bio-waste for this pirate. But it needs to be stolen, so you, you know, you have to, like, not want me to take it. If you could just covet your own bio waste a little bit harder, that'll make me feel more piratey. Alright, I'm jumping back to DJ Bushes. DJ Bushes. Yeah, what other, uh, you guys playing any other games right now other than Elite? I'm playing way too much Stellaris. Stellaris? Oh yeah. I need to get back into that. I always feel like I want to get back into that. So many fun possibilities to be a genocidal hive mind. <laughs> a xenophobic genocidal hive mind. I've been, uh, playing Diablo 4. Uh, with, some, oh, yeah. with some of my friends. It's okay. It's like one of those things where I'm like, if you've played the other Diablo games, like Diablo 2, I think, like, well, even the original Diablo and Diablo 2 were just like amazing, amazing games. Like Diablo 1, I just. Oop, I didn't realize I was interdicting him, and I did. Um, but yeah, like, like Diablo 1 was like this amazing, terrifying, awesome, cool game. And then Diablo 2, like, added to that. And then Diablo 3 was like, okay, this is, like, trying to be Diablo 2. And Diablo 4 is, like, trying to be better than Diablo 3. And it is, kind of? I still think, like, it's, it's, like, it's okay. They do some things really well. There could be some, like, satisfied thing, satisfying pieces of it. But, like, I'm like, it's, oh, tourists. I'm gonna steal some tourists. Give me the tourists. You can actually steal the tourists. Oh my god. They're a commodity. I love it. Um, but like, yeah, I, I mean like, is it is it good? Yeah, it's fine. It's a Diablo game. What can you say? I am like enjoying it more because like I'm playing with friends, but like even then like, we like, like, wait, no cargo detected. What do you mean? It said tourists. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot you, sir. Uh, just don't mind those missiles. It says manifest 21 tourists. Why can't I steal the tourists? Aw, I saw that, Phil. He jumped up before your hatchbreaker got him. That's kind of lame. I haven't played it before. I was not planning to do it either. Kind of yeah. too much money and, and a game that's probably good, but not very different from the other one, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's from Monty Python. It's only a wafer thing. It's just one thing you need to wafer. Um, but like, oh yeah, Mass Effect. Yeah, I was thinking about um, getting into that remake. Oh, here's a convoy dispersal pattern. Try dropping on that. Unless, hold on, what's that, a natter? Oh yeah, screw that. Um... Kerbal 2, yeah, I mean, I stopped playing Kerbal 2 because I kind of, like, want them to develop it more. And it's kind of, it, it is a bit disappointing in that sense where, you know, like, I could just go play the original Kerbal with, like, tons of mods and it's got all these cool features. And Kerbal 2 kind of came out, like, sort of, like, not really that well baked. I think it has a lot of potential, but I'm kind of, like, I already had that experience of, like, playing early access and watching it progress, and I kind of just wanted Kerbal 2 to come out in a more formulated state. Alright, what we got here? We got haulers, federal dropship. What do you have, my pretty? Tun laden. Tun laden. Computer components. Ooh, there's a Type 7. Uh, Sea of Thieves, Day of the Tentacle. I gotta try the Day of the Tentacle. You said it was four ninety nine on Steam? That might be... Copper Hamster? What do you have my... Bio Waste! Bio Waste alert! Nine We're going in. Bio -waste. This guy's got the hull. This is what... The, the rumors were true! Okay, I'm gonna take out his drives.
I need that bio waste. Come on, take out his drives. Come on, missiles, do your work. There we go. Drives are out. I just gotta catch up with him. Get around on the other side. Wait, why? Why, 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 why? I took out his drives. This makes no sense. Is there something else I have to do to stop him from being able to, like, be a wily little jerk. Like, I don't understand why, like, is this a new thing or like, did something change? Are we doing it wrong? Oh yeah, Starship Troopers looks awesome. Yeah, I can see it. Like Diablo, I don't think would be everyone's thing because like a lot of it is just like mindless clicking. But like, it's okay. Like I'm fine with it. I got clothing and personal weapons. Ooh. If you want to mess with an adder. I mean, I got, I got, I got bio waste here. That's what, that's what jam. Yeah, but clothing and personal weapons. I mean, you know. I mean, you could use bio waste as either. Bioways can be a weapon, or you can wear it. Yes. You had to go there, didn't you? You had to go there. <laughs> yes. Yes, I did. I just really wish these collectors would, like, hurry up. We got bioways to capture. That's another hatchbreaker. I do love when they when the when the, the, the ships, like, you take out their drives, it doesn't seem to stop them, but then they... They hang around because they just like, ooh, liquor. Yeah, there seems to be something like bugged right now. You'd be more interested in a new version of Dungeon Keeper. Ooh, I remember that game. There was also one called, like, Evil Geniuses, which was like, you're a Bond villain, and you have to create your lair. That was a cool little game. And satisfactory, Cold, you're playing that. Yeah, I never got into that, but I, I watched, um, I can't remember who I was watching stream that. Maybe it was Scorb or something, but, uh, definitely looked like one of those games that you could get lost in. Yeah, well, I did. I had to play a bit of Satisfactory. It is uh, addicting. Yeah. You just go into a Satisfactory trance? Mm, basically. Okay, I'm just gonna park my ship right here. Hope my collectors will just bring all the bio waste to me. Three bio waste, one liquor. I do wish that there was like uh, leaderboards for like who's pirated the most of what commodity. I would like to be like known for like he's like he pirated more bio waste than anyone. Oh my god, my collector limits are just being so annoying. Something is wrong here. Yeah. I'm Pirating him, but yeah, the, the thing attaches, but then the D attaches and no loot comes out. It's time to kick ass and steal by a waste, and I'm all out of ass. Crime detected. Uh oh. The popo. Sir, we're just cleaning up the system. 
Someone seems to have dropped a load of bio waste all over. This is a janitorial vessel, sir. Seriously, though, this guy, like, littered everywhere. Okay, I need one more bio waste. Go, Limpets, go! Bring it home to mama. Yeah, the other before I was like, it's just like, okay, this is what pissed me off. Number one, it's like 90 bucks, right? And it's like, why are games so expensive now? I know they're like, you need triple A, you need it. But it's like, 90 bucks is a lot. And then like, okay, I have to, I have to go. I have to run away. But it's like, yeah, so 90 bucks is a lot, but then on top of that, it's like, it's got the stupid, like, microtransaction shit where you can buy, like, the arcs. And the skins are ridiculous. They're like 15 to 20 bucks a skin, and none of them are good. They're all crappy. And it's like... Like, I get it. Like, skins are optional. You don't need to buy them. Thankfully, I'm like... I'm kind of glad that they're all shitty because then it doesn't compel me to want them. Like I just I don't I don't care because they're all crappy. But like ten to fifteen bucks for a skin, like come on, it's a little much, right? Remember when that that Skyrim had like the twenty dollar horse skin and people freaked out? And now it's like everything. There's also like Battle Pass, and it's like this is just like to get you addicted. Ooh, I got one of those um, <clears throat> private military courier services. It ooh, is, uh, ooh. Oh yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's gonna be juicy. I'll lock onto you, Phil. I'm on it. Yeah, bring him, bring him down. Yeah, what are these guys? These guys typically have like the high level loot, right? Yeah. This could be Hafnium 178s. Mm. This is private career service. Could be. Not saying it is, but. Yeah, Yamix's video on Diablo, I thought, like, made sense. I mean, like, I, I am still enjoying it, but not like $90. It's like. Look at Elite, right? Like, I probably spent more in this game than anything else. AI relics! Precious gems! Antique jewelry! Oh my god! This guy's loaded! Get him! Oh, he's got all the good stuff. All the good stuff. Give me the loot! Give me the loot! Does he have point defense? Because my, oh, hat, yeah. my hatch wakers are being destroyed. Yeah, he does have point defense, little bugger. Alright, we're gonna have to take out your drives. and get behind him. The problem is he keeps like facing me. Maybe uh can someone get behind him and Okay here we go, got a hatchbreaker on him. No, he got it again, damn it.
Good, damage just drives. There we go, drives are out. Oh, this guy's so wily. Should I just like try to? Oh my god! I'm gonna run out of limpets. Okay, can I target his like? Yeah, his point defense turret is down. So give me the loot. Come on, buddy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here comes the good stuff. Oh! How? Oh. Well, he did drop some stuff over here. Antique jewelries? Where are the AI relics? Antiquities. See you, Ray. Scoop up. This guy's a real devilish little bugger, eh? What do we got? Where's the AI relics? Got two of them, please. Precious, precious gems. Go, collectors, do your thing. Oh, there's an AI relic. AI relics are, uh, like, what are they in the lore? Like, obviously, AI got banned because, uh, ChatGPT made fun of Braven. And so the, uh, I don't know the, lore. the galaxy, uh, banned the AI relics, or the AIs. But I guess these relics are, like, you know, it's like, yeah, before, before it was banned, like, they made a couple of them. Up there. The fuzz. Shall I try to uh, distract them with gums? Yeah. yeah. Or, or like you know, kind words. That's what they're not expecting, right? It's like the the feds will never expect kind words. Just tell them they're doing a really good job. Liquor, precious gems, bio waste, AI relics, antiquities, we got it all here. We're making a killing. And I haven't died once. I'm actually impressed with that. Is there something wrong with this stream? Did I just hear you say that? Yes. Ooh, one more AI relic. I have to get it. I'm going to lose shields, but this will be worth it. Go, Collector. Yes. Now return home to Papa. Give me the loot. 
Ooh, should I get greedy? Maybe. Maybe a little greedy. Actually, no. No, I must leave. I must flee. I'm at a limit, so I have to go... cash this stuff in anyway. I think I'll head back to the, the, the fine wine, where the black market is. Landmine. I was like, why do I have this system bookmarked? Core system sector FBO. What even is there? It's like a little class T brown dwarf. Maybe on the way back, I'm going to just go there to see why I bookmarked it. Usually, if I don't obviously know, it's just like some station name there is ridiculous. I have a tendency to just bookmark stupid names when I find them. This is long before you had the ability to actually like rename your bookmarks, which is actually a really cool uh, thing that they did. <clears throat> like being able to edit your bookmark names so you can be like, site with cool planetary rings. Oh yeah, that's what I like that place for. Ah. But yeah, other than playing Diablo this week, I you know, it's like... At least pretty much the only other thing that I've been playing lately. I'm like, when does that um, Bethesda space game come out? The Starfield? Starship? Starfield, yeah, I think it's due for um, this fall, coming fall. Oh, for some reason I had in my head that it was going to launch in, like, spring. And I'm like, hey, it's yeah, almost it's been, summer, like, where is it at? It's been delayed, it was going to come out last fall and then... Post it, but uh, it's good if that means it's more quality. I mean, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really done with the whole trend in the game industry of like, let's put it out shitty and we'll fix it later. Like, just like put out a good product, and if you have to do a patch, okay, for like minor bugs or whatever and shit like that. Like, there's always stuff you can't expect. Like this whole idea of like, we'll release it with like bare bones features and then like string it out over the next 12 months. Yeah, I'm just like getting so tired of the early access kind of model. I mean, for an independent studio, sure, but like, you know, for a larger, more established franchise like KSP2, like, no, just finish the game, or at least a big part of it. In, in that way, you can say good things about Diablo 4, at least it's like polished and finished and stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's the one thing that I think Diablo 4 does really well, is like, like, like the game itself plays fine, but then like... The fact that it's like online servers, like literally I had to wait, um, like it was like 20 minutes to get into a game with my friends yesterday. Just like, queued for login. I'm like, why? Like there's still some parts of it that are like, obviously untested or unpolished, but the game itself, it's polished, it's fine. Though again, it's just kind of like, I don't know, it feels like it's going through the motions, like the one thing I was telling my friend is, like, in the first Diablo, when you fight the Butcher, that was such a monumental event where it's just, like, fresh meat, and it's like, oh my god, oh my god! It was, like, the first big boss that you found. It was, like, this, like, memorable sequence that still sticks with me to this day of the first time that you just open that random door and the Butcher pops out and you're like, oh my god. And in Diablo 4, it's like, you fight, like, a Butcher boss every five minutes. It's like you'll be walking along and then like, oh yeah, there's a, a boss fight just happening randomly there. You go into this cave. Oh, there's a side boss fight right before the main boss fight. It's just like boss fights every five minutes. And it kind of like makes those moments less memorable. Like it's like you get that big dopamine rush um, the first time that you fight this giant thing. But like by the hundredth time that you're fighting the same kind of giant boss fight over and over again and the only difference... It's just like, oh, this one is frosty versus fiery. It starts to lose a little bit of that luster, right? It just starts to become routine. And I kind of, I kind of like, I kind of wish that um, it was a little bit less, uh, less is more, you know? Kind of sounds like, yeah, well, I'm not much of a superhero movie fan, but it kind of sounds like what they're going through as well. Everything just becomes more epic and... Then a Marvel all, movie oh, every stuff. hour! Your new yeah, favorite yeah. superhero! Uh, what was no, the last... It's all uh, Michael Bay's fault. 
Hmm. I watched that Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse movie, and I liked it. Um, I think, like, the first one I, I think was a better experience, because, like, the animation style in the first one was just, like, revolutionary. I was like, wow, this is so cool. And this one, like, it was good, but, like, it didn't have that wow factor that the first one did for me. But Ooh. yeah, Triple A Games is in a weird place right now. It's uh, we'll see where it goes. The Gollum game and everything. And so, what Gollum yeah. game? Is there some Gollum, Gollum like Lord of the Rings Gollum? Oh, you didn't hear about the Gollum game? No. They, they made a game where what you play Gollum? Yes. Oh God. But it's really buggy and bad and stuff. And uh, they had to do a Cyberpunk where they, you know, making like an official apology to all the gamers and so Oh really? Eh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was probably just unreleased, unfinished, and they would have should have spent more time on it. But yeah, AAA games, everything's going more more expensive games because people expect more graphics. Or at least they think people expect more heavy graphics. But um, yeah, AAA games are disappointing people more and more, and we'll see where all that goes. I I don't mind it. I think smaller game studios should get will get more. You know. Uh, get, Get more airtime because the uh, AAA games are screwing up themselves. Well, so I'm so, fine with like, them. <laughs> yeah, like if you're spending millions of dollars on a game and you're putting it out there for ninety dollars, like it shouldn't be that bad. Like the the expectation is there, right? Yeah, right. so I played a lot, uh, quite a lot of Red Dead Redemption Two uh, this this spring, and uh, it's a decent game, but. It's way too expensive, and it has just way too much, too many features, too much to do. It's too kind of big, um, so that everything becomes everything you do is kind of small. And they're mm -hmm. developing a new GTA 6 game, and they're like estimating one to two billion dollar budget on that game. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's just going crazy, and you Maybe really like get that much more world. game out of it. Yeah, I don't think you really get that much more gate out of it. Just but it's like, it's like, like, really... how much did like, like a, a Sierra game cost back in the day? Like, like maybe we spent like, uh, you know, like, 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 like a hundred dollars a day. Oh my god, what's going on here? There's a Type 10 block in the mail slot. Mm, type 10, exotic. Exotic? Yeah, they're kind of rare, right? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm getting trespass warnings. Okay. You better get out of my way, sir! Thankfully, this is an anarchy station. No fines will be issued. Alright, I'm gonna head back to the Danga boss. I'm gonna go with Valor's idea. I'm gonna keep one of the AI relics. Just put it on the carrier because they're so cool. And it's fun to just have illegal shit. It is a pack rat mentality, right? It's like, I do, I do love just like hoarding things on my carrier. That's the main reason I love the carriers, just commodity storage. That was so needed. Yeah, I think I still had that bear unit that G Vine bought me when she was in the end of the. Yeah. It's still there, yeah. One game you bought a week or so ago was Volt Gun. What's Volt Gun? That sounds neat. Oh, yeah, neat. Volt Gun, yeah. It's a Warhammer 40k game, it's like retro style FPS. Oh, cool. All pixel and shit, sprites. Well, that's fun. At least the weapons are sprites. I don't think the enemies are. Yeah, I mean, like, it, it's kind of like, I feel like the next couple weeks I'll probably still be pretty intensely playing Diablo 4 with my friends, just trying to get through the game. But it's like, I feel like already, I don't know how far I'm into the game, because it looks huge. Um, and there are, there have been some really cool moments and sequences. Like, little side quests that I thought were cute. Um, but I feel like it's like, I'm going to get to the end of it, I'm going to beat it, and then I'm probably going to put it away. And just never look back. Like, I, I guess, like, the game wants to have a lot of replayability, but I feel like it's like, I, I think it's one of those games where, as soon as I get to the end of this, bye bye It was nice to know ya. We had a good time, but now it's over. And then back to just, like, straight up grind and elite. <laughs> Elite is just a game that, like, like, I don't, I could do everything in it and I would still play it. There should really be warehousing in every port. 
You would think, right? It, it would be nice. I, I mean, I don't know. if Maybe that's like there's a memory issue with that where people would just be like storing bio. Like I would, if they had that, I would try to store one bio waste at every station in the game. My shit is everywhere. And then the servers would crash. And then Braven would get angry. And you won't like him when he's angry. But uh, a golem game is not really a bad idea in of itself. I mean, what do you do in the golem own... game? Uh, it's like you're... adventure. Yeah, it's a third third person game. You run around with Gollum. You're you know some you're like a slave in some mines. There are orcs there or whatever, and you do errands and you try to escape, I guess, or something. And well, of course, you try to get the ring, I guess. But yeah, I'm like wondering, like based on the story, it's like obviously pre-volcano, because <laughs> it's like yeah, yeah. So it's got to be like before, uh, you know, it's like when before he met Bilbo or something, maybe. Yeah, probably. He's in the mines, he's a slave there, you are like stealth sections where you try to stealth by some guards and... Uh, yeah, you just, I don't know, I've just seen a few videos, but... Third person stealth action platformer, I guess. Yeah, look at all this crap I have on my ship. Just trinkets of hidden fortune, Thargoid resin, energy grid assemblies. Those are like those random things that sometimes it's like, eh, oh yeah, and bring ten of those. So it's just like, well, I'll just put that. Unclassified relics, Hafnium 178, Zihi Biomorphic Companions, Guardian Tablets, Domestic Appliances. Like, I don't even know why I have some of this stuff. Thargoid Heart, Soontil Relics, Resonating Separators, Momus Vog Spaniels, Hut and Mugs. Just good old fashioned bio waste. Non stolen. I made it myself. I still have festive gifts. I think that, that is just like a rare commodity now, like you can still buy those. But that was part of like uh, the Christmas plot, you had to bring like festive gifts to ports to get skins or whatever. I've still got about five of those, and I'm determined that those little children will not have those Christmas <laughs> presents at any time whatsoever. They're mine, all mine, my precious. <laughs> Maybe they're the key to Raxla. Why wouldn't they be? <laughs> Can't take that chance. Can't take that chance. It's gonna be a pin for us, sure, bringing them to all the Thorgoid size and whatever and trying and, yeah. The Epic Code of Corydon. Where'd this Arca go? Why is he... The NPCs are doing the circle thing again! They're learning. What was the name of it? It's like, what was the name of the courier that had all the cool stuff? Oh, type 9, type 9, type 9. That's got to be hauling some good stuff. I don't even need to know if he has mining equipment. This guy is definitely going to be juicy. He is in a team, but only with a Diamondback Scout. Topper McNabb to ya. Topper, get ready. To get McNabbed. Alright, interdicting. Bounty incurred, no big deal. I never plan to come back to this system. 
locking them. It's like next community goal in this system. Don't. We're actually discovered in this system. Damn it! Okay, let me scan you first. Let's see what you got. Show me what you got. Scrap clothing, gold, and basic medicines. Are you kidding me? Are you? I'm taking it. I don't care. Taking out your drives. I'm gonna inconvenience you. You inconvenience me by being, uh, looking lucrative and being not. Therefore, I will take something. Drives at 33%. Come on, missiles. Do your thing. There we go, drives are out. Hatch breaker away. All right, quickly now. Uh, can someone like, uh, just get those guys off me? Yeah, it's the fighter. to deal with these menaces. I guess a little bit of murder isn't going to be, like, too bad. Like, pirates are kind of murdery. It's not like it's like we go out of our way to murder, but like, you know, if they fight back, it's kind of, you just sometimes you gotta do it. You gotta do what you gotta do. Topper McNabb is just shooting you, eh? But you're like, your shields haven't even, like, had a dent in them. Yeah, it's size like, 8, uh, prismatic in the cutter, yeah. I see all those white things going towards them. I don't know if those are missiles or collectors. Uh, hatchbreakers. Are you just, you just shooting like 17 hatchbreakers at them? Yeah, six or so, seven, I think. <laughs> Got one of them, uh, size seven universal limpet controller on this cutter. I think the way to do this in a team is to have someone to be the hatchbreaker and want to just collect all the stuff. True. Because collecting in, in itself, yeah, it can take a while. I, I don't know, I feel like the collector limpets are like glitched out or something. They're not like uh, moving very quickly. It's really annoying. They also don't seem to be like. I don't know, they, they seem to be going after targets that are like, I'm moving away from, and then they just take forever to get back. But I mean like, do you remember the time before Limpets 
Like, how did we pirate before limpets? When we had to go, like, scoop all this stuff up manually, the old-fashioned way. I'll skip all my time. Oh, you missed the Iron Age of Elite. But everything was just, like, tedious and difficult. Like, I don't now think- it's also tedious. <laughs> yes, and now it is tedious. Just, just tedious. Fuzz are here. The fuzz are green, though. So System Authority really likes me. They're like, we have to arrest you because it's our job, but we appreciate what you're doing. Like, we think you're cool, man. Like, we're like we're gonna have to bring you in because otherwise, you know, our boss is watching. But dude, you are so cool. Oh no, I see all the loot. I had all this stuff ignored, so I didn't even show up on my radar. Oh yeah? Well, I mean, yeah, the scrap is not the cream of the crop. There is some gold in amidst that scrap. Okay, I might have to actually run away. Pesky security. That's fine, I got some loot. One gold, three clothing, three scrap. I'll take it! Oh, yeah. Alright, what else we got? Type 6. It's not really that juicy, but... Ah, our good old friend Publius. You remember Publius? Publius. Uh, Rich Joy, Type 7. Where'd he go? Galactic Dude. Deadly. Oh, the Galactic Dude has got to have some good stuff. Hey, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, System Authority. I'm going to beat this interdiction. It's like, after the Thargoids, my instinct now is just, like, to submit because they're impossible to beat. You kind of forget how, like, useless these NPCs actually are. Doing oh, oh, oh. On, on the dude. But you're interdicting the guy who's interdicting me? I'm interdicting the dude. I'm actually like dude. I'm like stuck in a Braven tunnel. Same thing that was happening to Dark Heavy. No, I'm good. I'm lining up behind Phil to take another shot of Galactic Dude. Hey Dark, how did you get out of this never ending interdiction? Did it just um, go eventually work, or...? I didn't. I have no idea. I'm it's crime and punishment, dude. I'm Come on. I'm still in it to this He's day. No. He's not here in the instance? It's just, just me here. here. We were faced this way in an interdiction? Okay. Uh, Phil, are you going after Publius? Uh, I'm in normal space. I want the interdiction against the dude, but he's not here, so I'm going back down. <laughs> yeah, I, I dropped in and then immediately back out, so I'm gonna go for Publius. Go for Publius. I've lost. Mm. Oh, there, there he is. There he is. A mamba. That's Pick juicy. Up his scent. <coughs> is it mamba juicy? Do they have cargo? Can they have cargo? Uh, which ones? The mambas. <laughs> I don't think so. 
He was in the lead, he was wanted. Publius is coming down. And I'm getting interdicted. <laughs> All right, Publius, what have you got to hide? I wish there were, oh, superconductors and liquor! Give me that. Do want some of that action. Stand by, coming in. Publius, just hold still. Hold still, this will be over shortly. What do we got? Liquor? Liquor? Wait, why is it being ignored? Do not ignore liquor. That's weird. I didn't put it on my ignore list, but it was ignored. Oh, he's got a little Sidewinder escort. That's cute. It's like, can you escort me, little baby? The baby's going to protect me. And I'm putting something in this inspection. Gonna have to reload. Send me a wing on point when I come straight back in. Oh, you know what I did? If you get stuck in the interdiction, just turn completely around and just head right back at the interdictor and go full throttle and it'll fail. This is what happened to me anyway. Okay, I'll try that. No, can't even target the person that's interdicting me. No. But it's literally just shit show. <laughs> right, back in a second. See you around this tower. But does start leaving? Yeah, the team team chat, he mentioned it. Oh! I'll help the missus with her tech issue and... No, she doesn't have a puncture. Well, thanks for thanks for pirating with us. I'm probably not gonna stream too much longer anyway. It's like... My mouth is getting... Dry. Oh! I just blew up some liquor. Yeah, should be plenty of stuff to... to use here. Oh, it's Kevin. The Elite Mamba, I think. Wait, what? Kevin Voral is here, the Elite Mamba. I think it's the, he's the Elite Mamba. Yeah, here he is. Let's fight him. Yeah. Alright. I thought you meant Kevin Banana for a second. I was like, ooh. Kevin Banana is my favorite uh, charity worker. Kevin Warhol. Mandingo Jet Society. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I mean, it's like annoying to talk, which is like, yeah, for streaming, it's like, yeah, it's pretty much talking and playing games. I could, I could get the games part there, but the talking definitely is like, blah, 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 blah. like I wish I could just like uh, fix my mouth, then I just have a cool, uh, sick eye patch. But no, I appreciate the support, man. It's like... Again, I'm just glad it's not more, like, serious. Could have been much worse. Come on, missiles. Kevin Warhol. You have been terminated. pack on missiles. Who's got pack ons I do. I want pack owns. But it means Get him. grind. One power play at a time. I gotta finish the uh, Arisa Livingy Duval one before I move on to the next. Who the heck is shooting? Oh, it's Publicist. Publicist, why are you hurting me? Oh, wait. Don't answer that.
I wish they would actually, like, I don't know, maybe it's realistic, but, like, I wish the materials would not fly so far away from the dead ship. Yeah, it is annoying. Police unit engaging. Just can't get rid of the damn fuzz. There's way more liquor here to be plundered. I'll distract them as best I can. My collectors are just like dropping like flies though. It's uh it, it feels different. I don't know what changed. Alright, liquors. I mean canisters, I mean limbits! <laughs> Do your thing! Bring home the liquor. But it's been a while since I've just done like general piracy. I really do like the gameplay. I wish there was like, ooh, you know, is there like a mega ship in this system? Can we pirate a mega ship? I've never done that before. I tried it once and I died very quickly. But it was also bugged for many years. I think it's fixed. Is it? Oh, cool. The, the, the hatchback. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think so. <coughs> Your speech is improving during the stream. It's not as it used to, but practice makes perfect. Well, it's like, yeah, like the one side of my mouth doesn't move, so it's like I'm very lispy. If I hold it like this, then I talk a little more normal. Where I got, it's like I got a little fish hook inside my cheek, right? But yeah, it's like. I don't think it's gonna get like improved, improved until some like function comes back. Maybe I'll just talk like this forever. Forever, forever. Even even when I was playing Diablo last night, I was trying to say certain things. My friends were like, "What? What are you trying to say?" I'm like, "Clear the blah But again, it's like you know, it's like it, it's fun when when something like this happens, you really start to think, "God damn it!" Just destroyed another liquor container by running into it. Like it's like even though this is like like minor, it just it does get you thinking about health, right? And just like it's like man, like sometimes we don't appreciate like what being healthy feels like until we lose something, right? Like who would have ever thought I'd be like thinking about cheek muscles and appreciating what they do? Indeed. Normally they just work, so yeah. It's like when they don't, then you're just like, oh, well, yeah, now I get what you did. Okay, apparently I can just, like, not scoop up anything in this clipper. Okay, how much do I have here? How much liquor do I get? Eleven liquors! Oh, my lord. Lovely. Okay. I think that's good enough for my taste. We can probably bounce now. Back to the super cruise. But yeah, I guess, like, even if I have to live with this for, like, three weeks, it'll probably... I'll get used to, like, being able to, uh... Speak out of the other side of my mouth, I guess? Human beings are an amazing adaptive species. No matter what happens, if we just, you know... Put our mind to it, we can... We can, like, uh... Uh, what do you call it? Like, adapt and overcome. Hey, blue zombies! Yeah, I'm alright. I got a Bell's palsy in the in the side of my face. I woke up. <laughs> it was so weird. I just woke up one week last last week, and um, it's like, oh yeah, I can't blink, or uh, and I'm drooling everywhere, like in a not normal way. But it's apparently, you know, it's just like a matter of time kind of thing. There's no real like cure other than like they give you some drugs or whatever for it but they're like yeah it'll take like a few weeks to come back but it's a weird sensation man it's like 
Oh. Can't use half my face. Yeah, oh, type 10. Do you type 10 some cargo? Hmm. Could have. This one has a lot of um no, he's got a hatch breaker. I'm not I'm not messing with that guy. <laughs> Do you have a point defense on your ship? No. <laughs> I'm a pirate. I don't need point defense. Uh, until the pirates take the stuff back, or even the trader take the stuff back. Ah, happen, but... shit. Now what you say makes a lot of sense. There's no way to defend against those hatchbreakers unless you have point defense. Type 7. Yeah, I mean, point defense is highly underrated, I think, in this game. I usually do like it, but the... Uh, like... The problem is, like, there are so many, um... Let's see. Yeah, why not? Let's just try this Type 7. Anonymous. Very clever. Very funny name. Uh, but, like, yeah, point defense, like, uh... It's, the problem is, like, a lot of the medium ships, you only get, like, four utility mounts, right? Like, there are very few ships that have... In the, in, above, like, the big three or whatever that have, like, a really good number of utility modules. Yep. Oh, this guy doesn't even have shields. He's a daredevil. Oops, I may have booped him a little bit. Alright, what do you got? Domestic compliance progenitor cells and imperial slaves. Why not? Why not? Let's uh, take out his drives. He doesn't have shields. Miss in the way. Type 10 pirate is here. I'll shoot him. Yeah, shoot it, buddy. Oh my god, these missiles take forever to reload. There we go. Drives are down. Hatch breaker out. Get behind him so he can't really. Uh... What do we got? Domestic appliances. There we go, some slaves. Her, you half slack faced pirate, you! I've asked ye, you matey! It actually is actually easier to talk like a pirate. <laughs> At least on the face, not on the throat. But it's like, who to thunk? It's like, maybe that's the origin of pirates. Maybe they're all like suffering from Bell's palsy. Maybe you get that. Maybe that's a symptom of a side effect of scurvy. Oh, I love it when the I love it when the pirate victim gets mad and starts coming back, just to be pirated all over again. Okay, Anonymous. I'll, yes, sir. Can I please can I please have some more? I really just I don't understand why taking out their drives doesn't like totally disable them. Like, what else should I do? Like, take out something else, or should I just, like, shoot their drives again? I don't know. NPCs cheat. The what? The NPCs cheats? are cheaters, yeah. Uh, cheaters. Now he's- they seem to be going, like, on and off. In spurts. Uh, give me them progenitor cells. I want to be young forever. Do you really want to live forever? Oh, 
Progenitor cells are like, uh, I think they like, like do actually like restore youth. That's why like people in the Elite Dangerous universe live like 300 years old. It's like, meanwhile, I think this eagle has been treating me this whole time to no effect. Must be very emasculating for him. Domestic appliances. We're like looking up air fryers here. We'll sell them off the back of a clipper at the the local land bases. And piracy certainly doesn't like pay as well as other professions, but I think it's very no it's a no it's the most noble of all professions. Noble, eh? The time-honored pirate. It goes back. It goes back to Earth seas, right? Like, I mean, okay, noble if you don't like, you know, murder people. If you murder people, then you know you're not being noble. I know that poor eagle. He's trying so hard. He's like, I think I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Just give me time. I'll kill him, even if it takes a week. I appreciate his, uh, his gusto. But yeah, it's, uh, it's noble in the way that it's not a cheesy way to make a lot of money. You have to earn it. Takes time. It, 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 it's work. like, it's like, it's like, it's very complex. Like, compared to, like, a lot of the other things that you can do in this game, like, you really have to, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You really have to like kind of. <laughs> no, I I didn't see you there because your 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 paint job. It's like camouflage. Oh yeah yeah. But it's like you have to have like certain equipment. You have to like kind of like know where to go to get the good stuff. Like it's not it ain't easy. It ain't easy being green. And then, of course, like, all that loot that you get out of there, it just, like, starts dying in space, so you have to pick it up within a time limit. Like, it's like so many little things working against you. You have to really, uh, think about it. You can do NGS piracy to aid a Camp 3 with their election. What? Missions to recover diplomatic bags. What? The? I didn't even know what NGS piracy... That, that's a thing. Do tell. Where is this eagle? Is he still going at it? Oh no, he's after Feld now. Oh, you he's... mean yeah, there's 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 missions for uh, for pirating, yeah, or uh, hatch breaking and stealing objects. Really? Okay, I did not know that. Even okay. honorable ones like uh, freeing hostages and taking back some documents, whatever. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna jump out. You can uh, super cruise with me. But I'm in a dark. Dark heavy. He must have slipped out into the netherverse. Convoy dispersal pattern level zero. Touch six transporter. Hello. Hello, my friend. Barney. Just Barney. Mm hmm. Why not? He's got a mining laser. Get him! Right into the. Like the. Fly into the spider's web. Alright, Barney. Let's see what kind of. Maybe he'll have low temperature diamonds. Maybe we'll get lucky. Or void opals. I don't know if I've ever seen anyone carrying void opals. No, I mean, 
Barney, what you got? He doesn't have shields, too. Low temperature diamonds! Oh, diamonds. Goddamn yep. diamonds. Take out his cargo yep. hatch. All right, Barney, we can do this the hard way or the hard way. Oh wait, that cargo hatch isn't being damaged at all. The temperature diamonds! My limpets could like be better. That would be great. Sometimes the missions are to get black boxes depending on the states. Oh yeah. What are I don't even remember what we're trying to do in a cans. I am so out of the BGS. I've been in like Thargoid land for quite a while. Like trying to win the Thargoid Wars. Help humanity in our, you know. Existential threat and all that. But really, it'll be fine. There's so many amazing AX pilots out there fighting the good fight. What can little old Spatula do? It's like I go into Xeno combat with an adder. I'm helping! Why is that limpet like? It's just struggling to catch up. Maybe the low temperature diamonds are just that heavy. Right, bring them home. Bring them home. Like, this might be like. How much are low temperature diamonds? Let's see here. Yeah, 100,000. That's really good. That's actually really, really good. Uh, average price at least. True, true, true. Maybe more. Is Buddy still there, or did he jump away? Uh, he's gone. He's long gone. That was a good little haul. I got, what, six low temperature diamonds? Maybe seven? Swag, 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 swag. Is your Limbic controller E-rated or Class 1? That is a good question. Maybe that's my problem. I don't know. Does it not say? It's engineered to be lightweight. Oh, it's a 3A. Yeah, it's a 3A. That's what I'm saying. I feel like there's something going on here, you know? Still one more canister left. There are actually two. Let's go, let's go. Alright. So that will put me at. How many? How many? Eight. Or wait, nine. Nine when this guy gets finished doing what his job is. You got five. You got five? 
Oh man, I'm just loaded here. I got four Imperial Slaves. Eleven Liquors. I got some scrap too. Welcome to update 1502. I guess, yeah, there was an update. What the heck was in that update? Do we even know? Did they tell us? Is it a secret? Like, that, they just slipped that update out. Like, there's nothing significant in it from what I imagine. Because otherwise, I would have probably heard about it. I think I did read patch notes or something, and then, like, they were so... Uh, minuscule? There's a lot of, like, bug fixes or whatever. So it's like, uh, I could keep reading this, but... If your headliner is like, fix the bug that happens very occasionally, I'm probably not going to be any interested in anything beyond that. Oh, we got Popo. What, the eagle? Oh, you're on Super Cruise. Oh, yeah, yeah I, went, I went back to Super Cruise. Maybe we'll do one more haul and then go back, cash it in, and then I think I gotta rest my face. I got zero limpets. You can see my limpets. Uh, I got zero limpets, but I can cover you at least. Can't can do no more pirating, no more limpets. How many limpets do I have? I could, I could give you. I wish I could just. I got sixteen. I wish I could just give you limpets by like shooting the limpets into your ship. Okay, there's a wanted type 7. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, I saw an elite wanted hauler earlier today. I mean, do you want to see what the wanted type 7 would have? Yes. I kind of do. It's like, I'm curious. His name is Bader. Master Bader. Darth Vader. It's like Darth Vader with a cold. Hello. Luke, I am Darth Vader. Let's see what a wanted Type 7 is carrying. Maybe he's wanted because he's smuggling something very precious. It'd be nice to get some onion head to round out this pirate. Can you even get a bounty from smuggling? Just fine. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, he's got narcotics and marine equipment and technical blueprints. But yeah, I'll take those narcotics. Let's go. Give me the loot. This guy says, prepare to pay up. Wait, wait, wait. No, I got him. It's Mamba. Mamba. Oh, oh, oh. It's, uh, it okay, you deal with the Mamba. I'll get the drugs. No, not the technical blueprints. Drop the drugs. Okay, the narcotics are just starting to come out now. Hello, sir. This guy's like kind of behaving a little bit odd, but okay. Yes, yes! Here we go. Payday. That's true, you can synth lipids if you have mats, but. Do you really want to waste your precious iron and nickel, the, the building blocks of life, on just a few measly limpets? <coughs> I know, I got in the habit of, of um, sorry, I'm drooling again. I got in the habit of, like, synthesizing a lot of limpets when I needed them, and I ran the hell out of, out of um, oh, I'm actually out of cargo space. I ran the heck out of, uh, all the good stuff. I had to start going shooting rocks to get my iron and nickel back. Yeah. Nickel back. <laughs> Do you need help with that, Mamba? 
No. He's dying. I think this guy's trying to pick out the loot I took from him. Well, how about you give me more? I gotta get rid of these limbits anyway. Might as well just hatch break him over and over and over. I like how he's not even attacking me. This guy actually has like cannons and pulse lasers, all this armament. He's just kind of like lingering around me like, why'd you do that, man? I worked hard to get those narcotics. So did I, my friend. So did I. <laughs> I think he's like, I, I think he's scooping up the stuff that I'm like taking from him. He's like going around like picking it up being like, no, my drugs. I need to just keep sending out. I could drop this scrap, I guess. No, I'll just jettison more limpets. It's so funny though, he's like scrambling around picking up this stuff. <laughs> and he's a klutz, he's blowing up his cargo. I love it. Oh, Bader. I could jettison limpets for Phil. Well, I did, if, if, if you want to scoop up limpets, Phil. The problem is, if you don't have limpets, how do you scoop up the limpets? You have to do it the old-fashioned way. And if you're in the wrong ship, like a cutter, you just apparently blow up everything that you try to touch. It's so weird. Uh, I'm scooping things manually right now. It's, it's fine. Oh, really? Actually, maybe I'm weird, but I kind of like the, um, the gameplay loop of, of scooping. The little camera thing there, I think it's neat. I think I'm dropping limpets now, and the limpets are just like being like, "No, those were our friends." I shall return these to you. Okay, maybe not. I think I'm at capacity. Yep. Yeah, all right. No, they did it. They did it. They brought back the limpets. Stop it. Stop bringing back your friends! Okay, that's fine. I think I'm good. Okay. So let's head back to, uh, where do we, where are we cashing these in here? Lan Wang. Lan Wang. Yeah. Fun Orbital. Alright, you get, you, you, that Mamba's di long dead, right? Yeah, it just exploded. Well, that's fun. I, you know, I get it. That's what I love about Elite is you can just like do simple things, go back to basics, and the game just like is enjoyable. Or you could try to get into a maelstrom and mine the damn Thargoid Titan and get really frustrated with stupid superdictions and glaives and a million mechanics that you have to like understand and memorize, which also is fun. But it's sometimes nice to go back to the basics. Maybe next week we should just do trading. No, 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 no. <laughs> although, although I, I, I wouldn't mind doing an event around. I was thinking about doing like the rare good loop, which is like when I started out in Elite, that was what I did the most. The, just the rare good circuit. But then just like splice it up by having everyone try to kill me. That could be fun. All right, heading back to the station now. Man, it's weird. Sometimes the uh, the bobbleheads on my thing on the right light they kind of look like little little people jittering around in a strange way. 
I do really like the shadows in Elite. Oh, we're actually there. Okay, I don't need to jump. Fung the orbital. So I don't think we've made a lot of money doing this, but fun was had. This is important. Do we have... Is there uh, something in our codex that shows how many uh, things that we pirated in general? I hope so. Probably. You got high protected by two glaives to escape the skin of your teeth. Man, those glaives just do a number. They are... And, and it's like they have this thing that like zaps you and takes all your engine strength. So you literally just can't get away. Super annoying. Like, I don't know how we're supposed to counter them. I don't know. I've not been really paying attention to Elite in the last like couple of weeks, so I don't know if... Maybe new tactics have been discovered, but, um, yeah, the glaives, I guess the only way to really deal with them is just to kill them, but that takes a while and can take its toll. Like, I think only, like, the fastest of racing ships have been able to get past them. Uh, I've secretly, secretly theorized that they did it like that because the traditional way of beating interceptors is to outrun them, but... What if there's an enemy you can't outrun? Then we're gonna rethink. Yeah. I mean, I think, I don't know. It's like, some people just don't want to fight, they just want to explore. They want to go on the Titan Cloud and just see what's up. And it's like, the option to run is nice. Like, that was kind of what they were always thought about Thargoid Conflict, is like, yeah, we'll put them in, like, signal sources. It's not like you're going to, like, go into a system and the Thargoids are going to interdict you and start fighting you because we want that to be kind of optional. But the Thargoid War, that's changed shit. They're like, no, no, no. It ain't optional no more. You have to fight. And that's kind of a cool thing, actually. I mean, if you don't want to see Glaives, just don't go near the Maelstroms. But can you imagine if the Glaives just started appearing up in, like, Soul System? That would be cool. I mean, it would be damn alarming. I'm all for excitement and chaos. Me too. Why? Okay, except for the fact that I can't. Why can't I target the station? I can't request docking. Maybe if I do it this way? What's going on? Why can't I move my menu panels? I can move that one. Why can't I move this one? Whoa! My left menu panel is broken. You think the electric attack rebooted your FSD? <laughs> it's like a, like the, the shock paddles or whatever. Seriously, I can't... I can't move off the contact screen. Okay, let me try... Put a super cruise in back. You can try open the engineer panel I used to work for some soft locking. If you can get there. Open the engineers? Yeah, on the right side panel. No, it did not. I'll just check out a super cruise in back. That's weird. I've never seen that one before. Welcome to 15.02! <laughs> never play on patch day. No, it's still soft locked. So now I can't even... This is bizarre. One thing that bothers me though is like, why are, are the station request things not in your comms menu? Like, why is it in your left panel? in your contacts and not like in comms where it feels like it should be. I'm gonna try menu logging. Let's see if that works. Perhaps it will. Turn off your shields when not in combat to preserve energy. Oh, suit shields. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, who wrote that tip? 
Okay, cool, I can do it now. So apparently menu logging fixes everything. It would be cool if stolen goods were worth like twice as much as the regular thing. They, well, that's kind of like I heard that they buffed piracy payouts, but I don't think they buffed it enough. Like it really should be like, although what would be the sense in that? Like why would why like in theory like a brand new toaster is going to cost more than a fenced toaster, right? But like for the difficulty of piracy. You would think, at least from a gameplay perspective, it should be, like, more rewarding, right? Yes. I guess if you stole something from another player, you could just, like, launder money that way, or print money, rather, if it was worth more. Because if you steal something from another player, it becomes stolen, right? Yeah. Alright. So, oh my god, so much, so much loot. I kind of do like selling it where it's like, oh my god, there's like so many different varieties of loots that we've got here. Narcotics, liquor, marine equipment, progenitor cells. Oh, the progenitor cells, I thought they were more valuable. Gold. I'm going to sell the low temperature diamonds last. Let's do the scrap here. Imperial slaves. So long. Technical blueprints. Not bad. Not bad. But low temperature diamonds. 1.6 million. Okay, that's... Kind of, it's hoping for more, but I'd say like we probably made like maybe ten million and spent two million in limpets in repairs. <laughs> Prognosis: yeah. piracy is not that profitable, <laughs> but it's fun. I like it. I like it. Treat it like an actual ED emergency. Roger Tower, Mayday. Cannot request landing automatically. I prefer you pick the pad I'm about to land on. Well, I mean, like, I didn't want to get blown up by the damn station. But you think it's like, uh, station? Station? Are you there? Hello? Station? Station? It's like maybe the guy went out, the docking guy went out for lunch. I'm gonna run out to the concourse. Where is the concourse? Oh, there it is. Alright. Oh, that's fun. Well, thank you for joining, Phil. It's been a, it's been a while since you've been on a Danga stream. Yeah, yeah, I got inspired. Uh, summer's here, no, no school. It's been quite intense, uh, just studying and eating and working. Actually, now get your, I have more more time. Yeah, good time back. Yeah. Well, that's cool. I think I don't know. Next week, uh, I saw there was a buckyball race going on too. There usually is. Think about doing that, but I kind of want to. I don't know. I'm, I'm debating like, do I want to stream and like do the Thargoid stuff, or am I a little tired of the Thargoid stuff? Like, I kind of want to do it, but it's like I could just like do that one evening. I don't need to like stream it or whatever, right? But I don't know. We'll see. I'll I'll think about what we'll do next week. Ideally, depending on my face, uh, how <laughs> something that could be less talking. I don't know. <laughs> But uh, thank you guys for joining. Uh, I'll be uh, streaming again next week. I will see you next Saturday. But hopefully you had a good time. And, and thank you, Valor, again for your super chat. Thank you. And thank you for the well wishes, folks, for, for uh, just wishing me well. Um, see you next week. Same Degas channel, same Degas time. But for now, 07, and enjoy the rest of your day.